Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome on in to more of the Stardew Valley Perfection Randomizer. We're randomizing, we're perfecting, we're perfecting randomization, we're randomizing perfection. I hope you're ready for this journey, whatever it might entail, because I don't know if I am. Early stream again. We're here for uh, the European viewers. We appreciate you. Any European viewers right now? Europeans, rise up. If you're if you're if you're viewing from across the Atlantic Ocean, from my perspective, um, drop a, drop a drop a nine in chat. Why not? Yo, Valin Va Valentera, thank you for becoming a member at the Positron level. Very generous of you. Thank you so much. German here, hi from Poland. Deluxe Trash, welcome on in. Mobby, hello Lisa, hello Koji. All, lots of the regulars rolling in, and some of the not regulars as well. Hi from the UK. Golly Flowers, AP Girl. Arabella, Eastern Nine, ooh. I was just wondering when the next Argon stream is and got the ping and I opened the Discord to check. Yo, sometimes it just works out nicely like that. Hoping for level 80 today. Banana pie, I'm guaranteeing level 80 today. We're not ending the stream until we get at least to level 80. If we can get there nice and quick, that'd be great, but mark my words, I got time to burn today. We're starting early, it's only noon for me. And we'll go till midnight if it takes that long, but we're getting to level 80. I actually think floors 70 through 80 are going to be a bit easier, copium, because uh, there's no dust sprites. And dust sprites are, are scary. I don't think there are dust sprites between 70 and 80, right? It's They're like the frozen castle floors, is the way I think of them. It's like with, like with the skeletons and stuff, and the and the cyan brickwork. Hello from the bagged milk part of Canada. <laughs> I've had bagged milk before. Bagged milk tastes different. I don't know what it, what it is. It tastes different than it does out of, like, a carton. It tastes better, honestly. We are on floor 70, yeah. Dust sprite, dust sprite still spawn on 70 to 79? Shoot. I thought we were free of the dust sprite tyranny, but I guess we'll find out. I don't, maybe they're not as common. Fingers crossed. At any rate, I'm excited to get into it and, and, and see how it goes. I didn't play any off-stream chat. I sometimes do... Well, like one time so far, but so, but the plan is to do more geode grinding off stream. But I ended last stream at the Luau, and I didn't want to do that off stream, even though there's like not much to do. But it just felt like because it's a festival, you know, I should do it on stream. So, so here we here we are. Bag milk gang unite. What's the what's the pragmatic purpose for bags of milk? Like, why would you want your milk in a bag as opposed to in a sealable carton? Like, I get that if you, like, have your milk in a bag, then it goes into, like, its own separate pitcher, like, its own vessel. You don't just have, like, a bag of milk sitting in your fridge, I don't think, most of the time. But, like, what's the, what's the actual, what's the actual lore behind, behind milk bags? I'd, I'd love to know. Polygon, thank you very much for becoming a, uh, a member at the Electron level. I love your name, by the way. That's, that's very clever. I like it. <laughs> Enjoy your sword and your fancy fresh emojis. Careful where you swing that sword. I should I should probably say it in the reverse order. It doesn't careful where you swing your emojis. My milk is in a glass bottle. Do you have a milkman? Chat, do milkmen still exist? Or I guess milk uh milk persons? Milk people? <laughs> milk people sounds like strange to me, but I guess I mean I don't know. You get what I mean. People who like go to your go house to door door to door delivering like six packs of glass bottles of milk is that still a thing that happens or is that was that ever a thing that happened like what if you're not home when when the milk delivery arrives and then you just have like six bottles of milk sitting out in the sun on your uh on your balcony it still exists but not in your corner of the world we tried it when i was a first a thing in the 70s it's hella expensive 
I've never met a milkman, but I've seen cartoons of cartons of glass bottled milk before. I just don't understand the, the milk handlers. There you go. That's a good one. I live near a cattle farm. I can go there and get the milk. It's a three minute drive. Nice fresh milk. Straight from the cow's bosom. All right. Let's uh, let's get it. Let's get it done, chat. Welcome back to Fractured Farm. Today is the Luau day, but we'll check our luck first and see if uh, because if it, if it's a lucky enough day, ooh, that's a very lucky day. All right, so before we hit up the Luau, we are gonna try for floor seventy-five. We should have time to to make it happen with with reset tech enabled. So let's go let's go do it. Ooh, and we're blessed by the B boss .ogg immediately off the bat. That's all. That's very good. It's so loud in my ears. I gotta like turn this down though. Not that I don't love B boss, but there we go. Straight to eighty, no resets. I appreciate the optimism, Dermeister. Get some B emojis in chat. You gotta get your B emojis in quick because B boss is not a long song. You got you got to make the B, B emojis count. All right. Poll going up now. Engage with your audience. Yes, I think I will. How many resets for floor 75? How chat, we're 50 floors away from from being done with the mines. How is this possible? Zero mining experience? You kidding me? One to three resets. Well, zero resets. One to three. Four to six. Or uh, seven plus. We've tightened up the brackets. We've tightened them up. Now, now your your vote is more impactful. It's impressive. Thank you. It's taken a long time though. That's for sure. All right. Let's go zero. Let's go get it. I'm here for it. All right. Uh, so this is there is a chance for a freebie on 71. That much I know to be true. Multiple of five floors, we don't get freebies. Multiple of uh, five plus one floors, there are free. There is freebie chance. So I think we honestly for for the zero gang for the zero reset believers. We gotta reset floor 71 until we can see a freebie. Might take a little while here, who knows? Hopefully it'll just be nice, uh, nice and quick and easy. I'll give it, you know, I'll give we'll give it like 10, 10 floor resets. And then we'll and then we'll see where we go from there. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't I'm not even gonna check for a freebie there. I can't get through that. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. Alright. 470 doesn't want me here today. Zero or unsub. Alright, the pressure's on. How come these don't count as resets, though? It, does, it doesn't count as reset unless you see the uh, Stardew Valley title screen. These, these are a separate kind of resets. These are a different entity of reset. We should come up with a different terminology to describe them. A new spelunking session, perhaps. Voted one to three, but you secretly want it to be zero. Mobby, I can respect hedging your bets. That was a lot of iron. 07 in chat to all the iron ore we're missing out on. Soft reset? There you go. Chat, have you ever eaten a soft boiled egg? I've had many different varieties of egg. I don't think I've ever had a soft-boiled egg, and something about it strikes me as wrong. Because a soft-boiled egg is like... It's like a hard-boiled egg, but the yolk in the middle is, like, runny, right? So you got, like, the hard outer outer egg whites, but the inside is, uh... is gooey. Something... It just feels like it shouldn't work to me. Soft-boiled egg is nice. I don't know, I feel like I'd be upset about it. I feel like if I bit into like a, something that looks like a hard-boiled egg, even if I knew it was going to be runny in the middle, I'd be like, ew, don't like that. 
I like I like my yolks nice and nice and firmed up. Soft boiled egg with with soldiers is classic breakfast. Soldiers is that like is that like toast strips? Soft boil is the only way. We got a lot of soft boiled believers in chat. It's like kind of hard to soft boil an egg though, isn't it? Like you have to get the exact right t like temperature and time. Because you want to like cook the outside but not the inside, but you don't want to cook the outside enough so that there's like no runny egg whites in the middle or whatever. It's got to be a science to it. The freebies are not coming very fast today. I believe that they're still possible on this floor, but I haven't seen a single one yet. You don't like eggs at all? Soft-boiled is a nightmare. Oops, wrong floor. Yeah, if you didn't like eggs at eggs at all, I feel like a soft boiled egg is the is your final boss. Seven thirty in boiling water gets a gets a great medium boil. You literally just boil them water for less minutes, for fewer minutes, excuse me. But also, like how few like how is there a, is there a time limit on getting a hard boiled egg, chat? Like how long can you cook an egg? before, like, it goes beyond hard-boiled into, like, super-boiled. Like, what's what's the stage beyond hard-boiled? Or does it just stay a hard-boiled egg forever if you keep boiling it? What if you boil it for, for time infinity? Time dot infinity times boiled egg. Ooh, we got a freebie for the first time in forever. All right, we got a live run officially. Let's get some lucky hardwood. Just kidding, some lucky refined quartz, actually. Haven't had one of those yet. The yolk turns gray? Why would that happen? That sounds horrible. The yolk gets a little green, but it's still good. The luau has begun, by the way. Rip. Oh, gosh. Those dust sprites are... They're, <laughs> they're looking a little too friendly with that iron ore, is all I'm going to say. We have another freebie. We don't have another freebie. I gotta get those dust sprites away from that iron ore. There's no other way around it. We got there's, there's two iron ores. Get past the skeleton. All right, lure them down. Lure them. Perfect. All right. I think we've I think we've established a good perimeter. Skeletons should be in theory easy to dodge. Although I see four of them coming at me and I'm a little scared. <laughs> Why are the skeletons so much more menacing when? When they're like this, when they when they when I can't fight back, please don't throw your bones at me. Only Arcus gets to do that to me. Or Arc, yeah, Arc is oh, that that couldn't have been a staircase anyway. I don't know why I mined that one. There's not that many uh, rocks on this floor, is the thing. So one of them soon will be a staircase. We're just hoping that it's not under an iron ore somewhere. That would be a, a tr the world's greatest tragedy also that's also a pretty bad tragedy but you know what we'll take it we take those on the chin we're zero reset believers i apologize but it's uh it was not meant to be today floor 75 to 80 i got you though used to be afraid of the skeletons the skeletons like are not that bad but now now that there's like they're uniting they're just like an army of them. <laughs> I can't fight. This is so scary. What the heck? Also, there's no staircase on this floor, it turns out. Right here. What about right here? It could be the iron ores up there. In fact, it's looking like it is the iron ore. Because this is the... It's, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just, like, skipped this rock early on because I was scared of the skeletons, man. Gosh darn it. All right, well, 72-1 acquired. First, first map of the stream. Is there a map emoji? I love my emojis, man. I wasn't always a fan of them, but uh, I've come I've come around to the way of the emoji. Unsub. Durmeister, I'm so sorry. But un I understand. I understand your rationale as well. Soft reset once you find a ladder on floor 74 if I need to reset anyway. To try and get, like, another pathway down on the same day. 
Yeah, but I mean, that's that feels like a, it's cheating the system a little bit too much. I feel like we get one shot a day to get to 475, and then uh, we just got to make that count. We do have map emojis. The Japan map emoji. <laughs> Who posted that at the start of the stream? In, in, like, I saw I saw that. You're like, why is there this emoji that's just for Japan? It's just the island of Japan. <laughs> like, it, no, it's not even like the Japanese flag. It's just Japan. That's actually hilarious. Is this like dead center of this floor? That's what it looks like. It's kind of a nice, uh, nice staircase. Nice staircase placement. I'm not gonna lie. Spa music calms my soul. Mine too. Mine too. This is the most soothing music possibly ever. Like anywhere in the world. In any context. I don't think it gets any better than this. Alright, no freebies on this floor. Show me a nice quick staircase. The blessed staircase. Right in the middle of a star floor. Would have been great to find that on a zero reset run, but we'll take it on. We'll take our. We'll take our one reset run. It's a nice breakfast. It's a nice little appetizer. A one reset run. It's not too. Doesn't doesn't fill up our pogs too much, but it's not uh, not unpogged either. All right, exit the title. First reset acquired. Let's go back in. Valentara, thank you very much for the 550 super chat. Argon, as a noble gas, what kind of nobility are you? I get Viscount vibes. Um, I honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd try to make a joke, but I don't know my nobility well enough. Viscount sounds pretty good to me. The only time, the only place I know the word Viscount from consistently is from Pokemon X and Y. You fight them in like the battle maison or whatever, like Viscounts and Viscountesses. Also, are you proud of me for not saying Viscount? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Viscount is the right way to pronounce it. They invention invented emojis in Unicode, inherited the symbols for the Japanese phone companies. <laughs> is that why there's so many? That's kind of wild. Not a, not a that's not a reset. It's just the test run. <laughs> the nomenclature matters less than the than the physical manifestation. Of the of the mechanics of Stardew Valley, but I I like where your head's at, honestly. All right, we're looking for another freebie. Turns out freebies on floor seventy one are kind of rare, though, so we might be here for a minute. Speaking of Pokemon, is shiny shiny hunting a Popplio and Ultra Moon? Best of luck, Banana Pie. Are the odds still one in eight thousand in uh in Ultra Moon, or was had they been updated to like the one in four thousand by that point? Because I know now like the base odds of shinies are like one in four thousand ninety six, but I'll never get one in eight thousand one hundred ninety two out of my head because that's just that's what the way I grew up with it. These three skeletons, they've triangulated. They're going for a pincer attack. That's a little intimidating. You are in fact proud of me. I do what I can. There's such a thing as wild grapes. Every fruit has been wild at some point, right? And probably is. One in 4,096? I believe so. I believe that's the default shiny rates. Alright. Oh, hold on. I gotta get my system set up here. So I can bring you guys into the lab without, without hassle. No Hasselhoff. Alright. Um, so for those who might have not seen this before, who might be new to this process, here's what we do. This is our current floor. This is floor 72. And last time on our first run, our first reset, we took a picture of this and we had a staircase somewhere down in this vicinity. You'll see that right there. So we go back to our, uh, our current map and we compare and we see that there is no rock there. But if there were a rock there or within a knight's move, either two up and one to the left or two down and one to the right then we'd be able to manifest the staircase there in theory. We also have false knight's move tech now, which is three to the left and one down. 
but I'd, or three to the right and one up. But it doesn't look like any of that's going to help us today, so we're just going to have to just going to have to mine our little heart out. Feel like a short hike music fits perfectly into Stardew. I should play a short hike. It's probably a short game, huh? Just based on the like the name alone. Are you kidding? I, that, I feel like that's the same rock too. <laughs> It was it was in a similar vicinity at least that that we got our uh, our first iron ore last time. Dude, there! Oh my gosh, this is what this is the risky run though. When you mine on like really good luck days, star drop luck days, you can uh, like sure you get more staircases in theory, but you also get more of that false horse tech exactly. Welcome in, Jay Nuggets. All right, just gotta, <laughs> just gotta push through. We just gotta power through. It's okay. Short hike is such a fun, chill game. It can be a short game, but there's a lot of optional side quests. Is it like a story-driven game? Is it, is it like its own like standalone story kind of thing? I honestly haven't played like a like a proper like story-driven game in quite a while. I'm so used to like uh like open world games, sandbox games, roguelike games these days that I forget what uh what a well curated experience can be like. Sometimes those are the best experiences honestly. Like if you, if you find a good story driven game, it's hard to hard to compete. I got experience out of nowhere, which means dust sprites are breaking rocks. I just gotta double check that they're not revealing staircases as well. You met a grape at a party. They were going pretty wild. I'll, I'll give you that one. That's a good one. They had a bit too much wine. <laughs> Chat, do animals like if if like there's grapes that are on a vine, can they get can they get like fermented on their own? Like if they will they ferment on their own and then can like an animal come along and eat them and get like drunk? Is that is that a possible manifestation in nature? Ooh, good staircase, okay. Like what's the process that causes fermentation? Like I know like people have like artificially introduced fermentation to make wine and beer and all that good stuff but i think you i think you i've heard of that before that you can get like natural fermentation as well holy this song is loud this is one of the new songs i've added to the soundtrack it was it's loud to me hopefully it's not like super loud to you but <laughs> i didn't realize how much louder it was going to be than the rest of it i can turn it down some if we need to but one of your favorite favorite gifs is of a magpie who ate a fermented apples and is flopping around. What the heck? <laughs> Am I gonna bring my own sword from now on so I can kill en some enemies if I get XP? It's just not my style, to be honest with you. I feel like if we if we have to reset, we have to endure the punishment of the hordes of enemies. It's a bit loud. I got you. We'll turn. We'll turn it down just like a, just a hair. Put it like right there. That that might be a good compromise between the loudness of this and the quietness of the other songs. I'll have to normalize some of the audio on these songs. This is from Wild Frost, by the way. Very very recent new uh, game. That's uh, I, f I first saw Northern Lion playing it on his stream, and I like fell in love with it immediately. It's a it's a deck building roguelike kind of game. I don't know if anyone here is interested in that sort of game, but it's been my jam lately. I'll like come home from work and just to decompress, play a little Wild Frost. is very is very fun. Highly recommended if you're into that sort of like Slay the Spire type game. Why is the cat named Pi? Why not? It's a great it's a great name for a cat if you ask me.
What goal do I want to see least slash most in, out of my second goal? Least would be golden clock for sure. That's just like exceedingly difficult. It would take a very long time with our current means. Um, what I most want to see is probably some semblance of like a level up. I think that could give us a lot more leeway to unlock certain things in the future, but I don't know which level I would want to take. Uh, we want to... I gotta get back in the rhythm here. Looking for freebies. No freebie spotted, so we start mining. Nightbot Night lost his N. Just Itebot. <laughs> we got gold ore out of that one, that, that rock. The cat's named Pi because it's round. Exactly, Charlo G. Also, welcome, Charlo G. Yo, we got a staircase nice and close there. This might actually be part of the same chain as the first staircase we got. Because I think the first one was pretty close to the ladder as well. But I guess we'll see once we get down to floor 74 for real. Alright, we got two maps of all our floors now. Let's run it back. There's no way this goes beyond three resets. I'll tell you right now. We're on two resets. Two resets deep. It's not going beyond three. Whoops. Exclamation point waste. The dark counter counter under the money counter. Who put that? Who left that command there? Who put that command there? <laughs> it's part of the Iron Man challenge. It's not part of this challenge because we don't, we don't need to track waste on this challenge. I guess we could, but there's like no reason to. <laughs> it's not as uh, not as important or as as interesting of information as it is in the Iron Man challenge. I for gore. All right. No shot it goes beyond three resets here. But in order to ensure that, we have to find a freebie. We have to find a freebie on floor 71 here. I think we want one, fr one freebie on floor 71 to get us started, and then at least one more freebie on the remaining floors. I don't think that's too much to ask. Chad, is that too much? Is it too much to ask for two freebies across four floors? On a on a on a top tier luck day, on a star drop luck day, is that is that getting too greedy on my part, or is that uh, is that okay? Is that acceptable? A fifty percent freebie rate. It seems that doesn't seem like too high to me, right? What type of luck is today? Is maximum daily luck? Did I pin the goal this stream? I did not. Thank you. Exclamation point goal. Okay, Nightbot, I'll wait. Current goal, Befriend the Dwarf. You love to see it. Forty-three percent of people right now believe in the one to three lifestyle. Looking good. Are freebies affected by daily luck even? I would like to believe that they are. Whether they actually factually are, though, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I haven't uh, I haven't dug around in the game's code enough to know that, but maybe I'll ask Blade at some point. We got a freebie. I repeat, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. We have a live freebie on deck. I tried to, tried to thread the needle there. Did not work out so well. All right, this floor is a little... I feel like this floor is going to be tough because the layout is just, like, not conducive to Knight's moves. So we're going to have to rely mainly on previously acquired staircases appearing again. Which is not impossible by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not ideal either. Knight's move. I feel safer with Knight's moves. Alright, what do we got? Alright, first one right down there. I don't see any Knight's move potential. What about our second one? It was like over here. Don't see any knight's move potential there either, to be honest with you. Do, do, do. do. Yeah, I know. 
I think we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and, and mine our mine our heart out. No dust sprites on this floor at least, so that's a blessing. Alright, we're gonna start left wise. We went right last time first, and there were a lot of rocks there that were uh full of ore. So we go left first. What would a dead freebie be? If there was just a... If there was a ladder going down, but... It was surrounded by iron ore. So I couldn't possibly get to it. But we don't even worry about that. We don't... Who needs freebies anyway? Dead or alive freebies? Not required. Not required here. 72-3. Alright. Star floor. This looks like the middle to me. That I feel like I I can don't even need to look at the at the maps. All right, not middle enough. Maybe it was like one tile down. I guess we'll reference the maps. Seventy three. What do we got here? Yeah. So that's our middle one right there. I feel like that was the right one. No, no, it was like one up, yeah, because it, it wasn't like a line of three here. Okay, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. No, knight, no knight's move tech, I don't think. No, yeah, knight's move doesn't quite line up. That's all right. What about this boy over here? Mm, I, I mean, it can't exist under a large rock like that. They They can't spawn... Staircases to begin with. It's a small floor. It's a small small floor. We'll count that as a good blessing. Had a super fun day yesterday. Cat, what'd you get up to? That was super fun. Kitty is happily watching with you, Han. I I appreciate that. I hope your kitty's enjoying it. Enjoying themselves. Can we get a purr check? Is the is the cat purring? prefer Schrodinger's freebie over dead or alive freebies. Lock behind at least one RNG rock. Those are good freebies. Those are those are some of the best freebies. I cannot deny that. They add a little bit of je ne sais quoi, which is French for pog. Kitty is purring. We love to hear it. Went mini golfing, then got tacos and drinks. It was your sister's birthday. Yo, I also celebrated her birthday. It was my it was my mom's birthday. We went out to celebrate on uh on Tuesday, I believe. We didn't get to go mini golfing. My mom's not much of a, a mini golfer, I would say. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever been mini golfing, even though it seems like such a such a fun activity. I would love to go mini golfing one day. The only mini golf I've experienced is in video game form, which is fun enough in its own right. I can only imagine what the real thing is like. If it's even a, a shred of a facsimile of the of the enjoyment you can get out of like golf with your friends or something like that, then I'm I'm here for it. Ooh, tucked away in the bottom corner here. We take those. That was a lot of rocks to break. We shredded some of our luck today to, to find this staircase. But that's okay. We only need to make it one more floor. I asked for two freebies. Will we get the second freebie? Is the real question now. Not in line of sight just yet, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay. Chad, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Now I'm looking. Freebie? Freebie! Is it... It might be a Schrodinger's freebie, like you were saying. It might be a Schrodinger's freebie, Valentara. I think... Because I think we have to break a rock here. We have to break this rock to get there. We have to break two rocks to get there? Oh, no. We can get under that rock. That's fine. No dust sprites. There's there's that, at least. We got... We got to... We got to work for that freebie, chat. I'm a scared. Can we get some good luck emojis in chat? Happy 420. Dude, 420 almost fell on Friday the 13th this year. That's crazy. 
said it was Thursday the 20th, but it's, I mean, pretty close. It's like a week off. Plus a single sprite. I think I don't think that was a sprite. I think that was a bat snoozing. All right, I'm going to grab this torch for good luck. Watch the skeletons. It's okay. We just we, we don't mind the skeletons. Please. I think I have to, do I have to break two rocks? No, I can go around this way. I can go around this way. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. Call it two resets, two and done. We made it. We made it, chat. The lucky torch came through and your emojis. Every All the luck we piled into that one. That was all you, chat. Not bad. Not even 40 minutes into the streams. Floor 75 acquired. End that poll. 41% belief. I hope I did you well. The 7% of people believed 7 plus. Oof. <laughs> and now, as a treat, we get to go to the Luau. First, we're going to go ahead and do our trash run. And then we can drop this torch in the Luau soup. Have it add a nice smoky flavor. Wish there was something like channel points. Does Isn't there like an extension that, uh, that... I don't know if it's like available to me. I know I know I've heard rumblings about it that like Ludwig made a an extension that adds sort of like channel point functionality on YouTube. I don't know exactly how that works, but maybe I can look into that. It makes it makes YouTube the YouTube viewing experience a little more reminiscent of the Twitch viewing experience. I don't know exactly how it is. I'll but Truffle, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but maybe it's maybe it's worth considering. For your consideration. It's probably something like everyone would have to have the extension though, right? Like I couldn't just have the extension and it works for my chat. I think it would be like people have to download it themselves, which is kind of a barrier to entry, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be mistaken. Alright, we still got time to make the Luau, don't worry. Your cat's also purring Pelinar. That's the power of Floor 75. That two reset win, that two reset victory, makes all the cats purr. Thank you, Silver. Alright, off to the Luau. You're at the Luau with, with Night Market Music. Wait, is this Night Market Music? This is Night Market Music. All right. Is gambling channel points PG-13? It's a great question. It's it's a worthy consideration for, for discussion. But for now, we're here for one reason and one reason only. First, Starfruit acquire. We need nine Starfruit for our Junimo Hut, if we need to get a Junimo Hut, which there's a decent chance that we will, depending on the order of our goals, but... All right, not talking to anybody else. Let's just, uh, let's just send it here. Everyone who'd want the channel points would have to get the extension. I don't know if I want to, like, divide chat like that, because then there'd be people, like, with extensions, without the extensions. I feel like a homogenous chat experience is more conducive for community vibes. Welcome in, Karita. Just in time for our delicious soup. I think I've, I forgot to put anything in there. That's okay. I'm just hiding down here in the in the corner. It's all good. We did make it to floor 75, Arabella. Two resets deep. It wasn't too bad. It's not bad, but it's missing something. I can taste it. Someone... There should be a one extra cave carrot in this soup. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Guinness World Record for the most discerning palate of all time goes to this man right here. 29 out of 30 people put an ingredient into the potluck soup. He's like, it's missing something. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. All right. Time to head home. I'm going to get my mushrooms. Don't think I forgot my mushrooms for today. And then we're uh, we're off to bed. First star fruit acquired. It feels wrong to have this star fruit. It feels like an illegal item. Like I, like, I added it with, like, a, a mod or something, but... 
it's real. We just get, they're just very rare in my current circumstance. Claire, thank you for becoming a member at the Neutron level. I greatly appreciate the generosity. Enjoy your emojis and your uh, and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. Want to get rid of that? That one was, but that one in particular was bothering me. All right, dump it all in here. Starfruit goes in as well. We can sell the torch. Pet pie, of course. And we got a little bit extra time. I was gonna say we could go out and maybe. Like, farm some monsters on the farm, but... Nah. Wait, I hear a bat, though. If I hear a bat coming for me, then I, I might as well try try my chance to get a bat wing. How many bat wings are we up to? We're at five. We need ten for the adventurer's bundle eventually, so... Get back here, you. Perfect. Alright, make that six. You'd rather the suit be a little bland than with Lewis's shorts? True, they don't know, like, what possible timeline they're, they're in right now. Welcome in, Cuddlesnot. A true governor has no other job than knowing exactly the contents of the soup what, versus what they should not contain. That's what he went to school for. <laughs> Some people have a master's, he has a, a soupster's. Alright, let's go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. Lock it in. Nice payday, five gold. What's the plan for getting refined quartz? It's a great question, honestly. I think we need to get the furnace realistically, because if we want to get ten refined quartz, we got we got to get the furnace from the uh, ooh, that's not good. From the blacksmith's bundle, which actually reminds me, I do think. Um, I've talked about this a little bit in the Discord. Um, the friendship-based goals were like like the current like the current goal we have, for instance, befriend the dwarf, but just more generally befriend X villager. I personally believe, I think that uh, it, it should be similar. We should treat it similarly to how we treat the skill goals, where I can get experience towards a level as long as I don't level up. So similarly, I would say I could get friendship with somebody, but. I can't get a full heart with them. Does that is that make sense? Because if we allow for that, if 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 we're all on the same page and we're we're allowing for that potential, then I could start talking to Clint and get like up to but not quite one heart with him, like just under one heart. And then there's a chance he could send me mail, which will give me bars, which I can then use to unlock the blacksmith bundle, which is I mean, that would be a lot better than the current alternative, which is I don't know why we're doing this. It's not debris day. It's bet it's uh right now the alternative is just waiting on those bars to show up in the garbage. The crystals do have a chance to drop refined quartz, that's true. I haven't seen it personally yet, so I think it's a very minuscule chance. You think that should be allowed? It makes the most sense to me. It makes it feel like consistent. Rather than just like avoiding villagers altogether. Like I feel like if I if like it would make sense, like, if I was avoiding experience entirely, then I would also have to avoid, like, talking to villagers entirely. But because they're, like, similar scales, where you get, like, friendship experience, more or less, I think there's a, I think there's a case to be made there. You could also do fetch quests. That's true, actually. I mean, if I'm able to complete them. For instance... Clint would like a red mullet to rub on his sore nose. Maybe I don't want to befriend Clint. <laughs> on second thought, maybe Clint is not uh, not friendship material for me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyone who wants to rub a big red fish on their nose <laughs> makes me <laughs> a little, little uncomfortable. I don't know about that one. Something tells me he sends mail at like th only sends mail at three hearts or something. According to the wiki, you can send mail at any any level of friendship points, including like zero hearts, as long as you have like some friendship points with them, or anyone who sends mail for that matter. So I think there's a I think there's a precedent there. We 
the goal is max hearts, not one heart. So maybe as long as you don't max out. I, I mean, I don't like that necessarily because then I could get up to like nine hearts with everybody and start getting like stuff. And then, I mean, I don't know. That, that feels a little too far to me, but maybe. Probably not though for me personally. Either way, I, I personally think that it's okay. You know, why don't we put it up to a little vote? I don't know if there's going to be an official vote, but we'll at least start a poll, test the waters here. Should, uh, should we be allowed to get friendship with people as long as we don't exceed one heart? Is that a good way to phrase that? Ask your community. We'll just test the waters on this one, see how people are feeling about it, and then we'll go from there. It's a community challenge after all, so it, I don't know. we'll see how it goes. All right, um, but we are going to do some hardwood farming today. We are three hardwood away from our 10 hardwood goal. See if we can get it uh, just a little bit closer today. I'm not anticipating getting three hardwood, but uh, not in one day. But if we can get at least one, we're smiling. Oh my gosh, I've never seen so many... So I've never seen a poll vote this high. 90% yes. 90% of people believe that it's fair that we can get uh, some friendship, but not exceeding one heart. Exceed means one heart is okay. One heart, one heart would not be okay. We ba basically... Exceed, exceed means that if we get one heart, then we gotta basically lower that below one heart before the end of the day, I would say. We, we don't want to end a day with hearts with anybody unless we have a, like, a befriend that person goal. Yeah, exceed, exceed means reach in this case. I'm sorry, that's probably confusing nomenclature. I'm getting the torches. Torch grind meta is, is alive and well. Drink your dang water. Okay, I will. Jeez. A little hydration. Voted yes in the spirit of reaching. Let me... Alright, here, here. Because there is some confusion in the way it's worded, end poll recontextualize the poll just so it's just for absolute clarity um should we be allowed to um gain friendship with people as long as we don't reach one art or more with them because there are act actions that I think could give you multiple hearts with a person. So just be, let's be let's be very specific. Greater than or equal to, not just equal to. With with them. Um. Oh, I gotta. It's too long. The question is too long. One heart. As long as we don't reach one heart or more. Ask your community. Hopefully that's a bit more clear, th clear than exceeding a single heart, because I can see that uh, how there's room for for confusion there. And let the let the let the hype music roll through you as well. Yeah, no love birthday gifts for sure. Eating wild raspberries. Hope I don't get poisoned. Uh, Best of luck to you, Karita. I'm hoping that I'm, I'm wishing all the best. It's a risk worth taking, I would say. Wild raspberries are extremely delicious. Probably some of the best berries out there, even though they're not technically berries. Ooh, we got hardwood potential on deck. No hardwood, but a topaz is better for me. I should have dropped off these mushrooms, to be honest with you. I'll take, a, take it over an acorn.
It's consistent with XP. That's where my that's where I'm coming at it from. It's consistent with like the skill XP rule, where we can gain XP in a skill so long as we don't exceed or so long as we don't reach the next level, basically. That uh that would cause us to complete an otherwise incompletable goal. Yeah, I am allowed XP. I'm just trying to avoid it as much as possible because that's just that's just what I like to do. How to get an acorn? Uh, it was from the trash, I believe. Yeah, catching fish. Catch each fish is also a goal. One goal for each fish, so you can't fish. Very true. So if I got, like, gain a fishing level... I wouldn't be able to gain that fishing level by actually catching a fish, unless I had already got to catch that fish goal before that goal. So I'd have to gain experience in fishing through uh, other means. Namely, probably fish ponds or fishing for garbage or fountain fishing. There, there are ways to go about that. Thing with, is with XP, it's permanent. No way, no way to get rid of XP. Friendship is XP, something you can get rid of. And it even decays on its own. That is the that is the most logical counterpoint, I would say. Is that because like I could get like one heart and then be like, oh shoot, I got one heart, and then just like hit them with a slingshot or something to to lower the friendship back down below one heart. But I don't know if there's anything necessarily wrong with doing it that way either. I feel like it's like as long as you don't end a day with more than one or with with one heart or more with, with someone um i don't think there's a reason to disclude it necessarily acorns are 20 gold which is really a lot for a single little acorn i don't know why the acorns are so expensive versus the other tree seeds yo welcome on in starcourt happy to have you here all right, we take we take earth crystals around here. Earth crystal probably sells for more than a field snack. I don't have that on on record, but it feels right at least. Eighty-five percent of people believe that we should be allowed to gain friendship, not in excess of of. We, sh we should not be allowed to reach one heart, but we should be allowed to gain friendship otherwise. I feel like that's, I mean, that's a pretty pretty heavy super majority. I think I'm comfortable going with that. I think it opens up the... Here, here's where I come at, like, all the rules for this challenge and stuff from, and all the restrictions and everything. Is, uh, I feel... This feels a little loud, this music to me as well. Maybe the Wild Frost soundtrack was not a good fit for the stream playlist. We'll see. But hopefully you can still at least, like, hear me. <laughs> um, but where I come at when I come up with, like, rules and restrictions is... Not always necessarily, like... Well, I, I consider a few things. How well does it fit with the spirit of the challenge? And how, like, consistent is it with other rules and stuff? Um, how arbitrary is it? And does it open the potential for some interesting gameplay without completely trivializing things? And I think in this case, um, I think it does. Being able to like talk to people and get like not quite one heart, but have a little bit of friendship with them for that slim sort of lottery chance to get mail from them and get a useful item that way. I mean, the alternative is that I just search garbage cans for, for what I need forever, which is, I mean, I can do that, but it'll make things take longer. And it's not always as interesting. I think having more tools in our toolbox is, is never a bad thing. If that makes sense. Don't know if the impermanence of friendship is necessarily a problem either, but it's, it's a reason to be less frivolous with skill XP. We don't know when we'll need XP leeway in the future. Very true. And I also, you know, I think that that's, that can be spinned as a positive as well, because it means that, you know, while skills and friendship, they have some corollaries in that they're like XP gaining systems, they also have some unique features about them. Skills are a lot more rigid, whereas friendships are a bit more wobbly, like in real life. 
You would ban friendship with Lioness. He has a zero heart event at 50 friendship points. As long as we avoid that specific heart event, like, because, like, a heart event is you have to... You have to go out of your way to, like, get the... Find that right in the right time. I don't think I would need to befriend Linus anyway, though. I would be okay, like, banning that. But it would... It, that, see, that, that, to me, banning friendship with one particular person feels kind of arbitrary. Two hundred and forty nine friendship points with Haley. Nice way to speed things up in the spirit of the challenge. Exactly. That's that's where my head's at with it right now. That friendship event with Linus is always so weird to me. It's like the only friendship event that doesn't require like a full heart. And in this very specific circumstance, it makes things very, very weird. Unless we get the befriend line as goal. I mean, we could keep trying to stay below 50 friendship points with Linus. <laughs> Maybe gain a friendship game would be for a specific reason thing. No befriending Haley for no reason. I, yeah, Haley doesn't send anything in the mail, so... There's no reason, I mean, we couldn't befriend her, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. And we'll make a, a concrete decision. Maybe I'll post a, an actual, like, more formal community poll about it on, uh, before, before next stream. I won't do anything friendship-related this stream. Just because I feel like it's not an official, like a like a stream poll. Oh, a pickle jar rag is kind of you know it's kind of blessing the poll results though. This gives me a good indication of what the general consensus would be, but I think opening it up to a community poll is probably the uh, right way to go about it. What's my favorite friendship? My favorite heart event is it the pickle one? <laughs> No, it's actually, I mean, probably, I really like Haley's uh, six heart event where you get the bracelet for her on the beach. That one's a fun one. Especially because it's like the only heart event where you actually get to like move around and play the game a little bit. It's, it's more interactive than the other heart events, which are mostly just like pick an option. I think that adds a certain element of, of fun to it. And it's just a very nice, sweet, heartfelt event. Because buying from Krobus would befriend him. I did also, I have also thought about that, is that, because you can't buy from Krobus or the Dwarf, which doesn't matter as much for us, since we have to befriend the Dwarf first anyway. But you can't talk to them without, or you can't buy anything from them without actually befriending them a little bit. Because you have to go through their dialogue first, and that intrinsically gives you some friendship points. So it makes things a little... I, I mean, I think I think this the ruling on the friendship here. If we were able to get points for it, would uh, it would cause that to become like a non-issue? There a mod that shows us the exact number of friendship points with villagers. There probably is. I know I've seen at least a mod that makes it so you can see like fractional hearts in your uh, in your friendship screen, so you can see when you get to like a quarter heart, half heart, three quarters of a heart kind of thing with villagers. Zelda style. I've seen that mod for sure, so there's there's definitely mods like that out there. Yours is Emily's Dance. That's I mean that's just a it's a banger of a song and a banger of a heart event too. Would you still get friendship points if, if with Krobus if you talk to him on the days he doesn't say anything? I'm pretty sure yes, yeah. Like if you talk to him on Friday when he's silent as a sign of devotion to Yoba. I believe you get friendship points just for interacting with them at all. I think it's the action of, like, like if we get down to the basic mechanics of it, I think it's just right-clicking on the NPC gives you friendship points. But it is a it is a good, good shout. It's a worthy consideration, for sure. Part of it in the UI info suite, really? We can check. Town square on... Pe townspeople on map, birthday icon... Show heart fills. We got zero hearts with anybody. It's not going to show anything. 
but in theory, show heart fills is may maybe, I mean, maybe that's a sign that it's already part of this mod, that it would, uh, that could work. I don't know. Wasn't there a Shawnee Do video where he spoke to Emily once in order to get her to send him cloth? Or a Therm video, maybe? I mean, I definitely know that you can get mail from people if you talk to them even just once and have, like, the tiniest morsel of friendship with them. It's just that you get higher, ch higher chances for mail the higher friendship you have with them. That's the way it works. I know the mechanics of it for sure would work, but I just don't know the, uh... I don't know necessarily how we stand on... It is a community as a whole. Leo's Six Heart is your favorite one. Is Leo's Six Heart where he moves to the valley? I mean, that's that's a big heart event. That's one of the ones that changes the most, like gameplay wise, for sure. Excuse me. He talks to you on Friday if you propose. He's so stunned by your by your proposal that he's like, "Oh my gosh, I forgot it's Friday." No, no. Have a good one there, Jerry. Thanks for hanging out. You love Leo. Leo's very cute. Very good addition to, to Stardew 1.6 or 1.5. Do you think there's... Oh, chat. Do you think there's going to be new people in Stardew 1.6? The 1.6 update that Concerned Dave is working on? I know he said there's not going to be like as much gameplay content as, uh, as 1.5 had. So I don't know if there'd be any new, like, friends that you could make. Probably not. I'm very curious to see what he's what he's got planned for, uh, for 1.6 beyond, like, the modding features, which I'm sure will be very good in their own right. But the actual, actual content? I'm scared. Do you think it'll add to perfection? Do you think that he'll add, like, new... Not necessarily new, like, requirements for perfection, but if he'll add, like, items that... Now you have to, like, craft that or ship that or cook that or whatever to get perfection. We'll be unperfected. What if, we, Chad, what if we have to go back to the price of perfection? <laughs> to finish it off in 1.6 with the update. What if he's like, you have to, now, now instead of shipping one item, you have to ship a hundred of each item to get perfection. No! Imagine getting a hundred. Imagine getting a hundred small white eggs, st solely from Marnie. <laughs> I mean, you never know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what we'll see what the one point six update brings. All I could say. One point five had a lot of new gameplay, so not as much as one point five is a pretty pretty low bar. That's what I thought, too, is, like, 1.5 had so much content. Like, what does not as much content as 1.5 even mean? <laughs> it could still be a pretty sizable update. Concerned Dave can't take those statues back, but what if he can? What if the update comes out and it's like... Grandpa senses that you have been slacking in your duties. He has taken away your statue <laughs> of true perfection. Go get it again. That would be so mean, but I also, you know, I couldn't even be mad. Some people would be mad, for sure. I would not be mad. I would just laugh. That would be hilarious. At most, he might add things to existing friendships or add friendships to people who are missing it. Friendship for Birdie, when? I've seen a lot of people say I hope he adds, like, the, the opportunity to, you know, romance Sandy. Which I think would be fun. I'm always I'm always a proponent of, of that idea for sure. If it, if only to give Sandy more purpose than just being like a shopkeeper out in the desert. Who's like an unreasonably good character. <laughs> A truer perfection statue? <laughs> the, the true perfection already gives you a single prismatic shard every day, doesn't it? What would a truer perfection statue give you? 
one galaxy soul every day? What do you even do with those things? <laughs> give, maybe it'll give you give you like one golden pumpkin a day. I don't even know, man. No hardwood today. It's an unfortunate reality that we just have to face. Sell the quartz, the earth crystals, the topaz, the torches. 40 torches! Isn't that like 200 gold? That's kind of wild. <laughs> one radioactive ore, one living hat a day. I wouldn't want that because it's, uh... And then the living hat's not rare anymore. True perfection gives iridium. Uh, no, that's the Statue of Perfection. That's the, that's the first Statue of Perfection for, from Grandpa's Shrine. Statue of True Perfection gives you the Prismatic Shard, right? A creative mode would be nice. There is already that via mods, but, like, I, I get what you mean. Having an actual official creative mode in Stardew would be a, a nice addition for sure. Alright, do we have a lucky day? Two Red Skull Days in a row. We're not even... I'm not even looking for the soul stone. Why is Red Skull just making himself so known in my life? One rock candy? That would honestly be kind of nice. I mean, one rock candy is the equivalent of, like, three prismatic shards, so... It tracks. New marriage options or, or dwarf roommate situation. I do think the dwarf, I would I'd like I'd like the dwarf to be fleshed out more. He really doesn't do anything. He like never even leaves his cave, <laughs> except in that one hard event. One item of your choice per day. That'd be cool. I like the I like the creative possibilities with that. But by that point, what items do you even want? <laughs> Grown-up children and spouses that don't lose all personality. If you could flesh out this the the marriage mechanic, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Here's the pro I mean the problem is we just don't know where his focus is gonna be for the 1.6 update. Maybe he'll, like, focus on a bunch of different little parts of the game. Maybe he'll, like, dive deep into one specific app aspect that he wants to flesh out more. Either way. I trust Concerned Ape. I I mean, obviously, he's made a fantastic game here already. And he's in, he's guaranteed going to make another banger in Haunted Chocolatier. I trust his judgment. Whatever he thinks is best for Stardew, I'm, I'm fully going to support him. In before... 1.6 update, Haley has been removed from the game. <laughs> he would never. He would never write chat, right? Maybe it's an East maybe it's like an April Fool's update. All villagers have been removed. Good luck with the mines. Thank you, Mabby. Have a good one. You gotta be at the train station at 4.40 a.m. Oof. Hopefully you can at least like sleep some on the train. All right, new hardwood grinding day. New, it's new hardwood, new me. One point six makes everyone Linus, and all crops are asparagus. <laughs> Change the name to Asparagus Farming Simulator twenty twenty four. That'd be, that'd be the worst of all fates, because asparagus is, like, the worst vegetable. And it's not close. It's not even close. Ghost Town Stardew Valley mod, you've considered this, but you have but you have absolutely no ability to code. I've thought about that too, Pelinar. There is actually a uh, a debug command. If you have, like, a if you have debug commands enabled in Stardew, there's, like, a, there's like a debug kill command... That, like, removes a person from the game. So you could technically do that, like, just with debug commands alone, I think. I don't know, like, how robust it is. 
When I saw that though, because I've I've like perused like the debug commands on the wiki before, and I saw that one, and I was like, "What the heck? That's wild." You just remove a person from the game, just delete them. Celery is so good. Opinions on celery? Celery is a uh, is just water, basically. It's like stringy water. I'm not a fan of how it gets stuck in my teeth, but I think it is a good vessel for other things to inhabit. You get like peanut butter or cream cheese on a celery, that's pretty good. The, ce the celery definitely adds to that experience, I would say. But celery on its own, I need I need something with it. It's it's not it's not good on it's not good enough on its own. Yeet Clint from the game. Say goodbye to all your tool upgrades then. <laughs> Celery makes me want to commit crimes. I don't know if I go that far. Holy. Bad texture, bad taste, not even good with peanut butter. Abby, we struck a nerve with the celery discussion. It's okay, everyone's everyone's got their uh everyone's got their their food. Everyone's got that one food that they just irrationally despise. For, to, like for even existing. Chat, what's your what's your least favorite food? We don't often do least favorites here, but this is a I think least favorite food is is an okay discussion. Or usually about positivity, but but get your get your angst about your least favorite food out there right now. Celery tastes like water from under the fridge. I think it tastes like good water. I just don't think it ta but I I it tastes just like too much water. Yogurt, mushrooms. Ginger is awful. I'm kind of with you on ginger, honestly. Arisby, welcome on in. You're not too late to enjoy some, some fun times, though. Bell peppers followed closely by oranges. Bell pe Really? I mean, both of those are... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love both of those. Bell peppers and oranges. We have, like, diametrically opposed taste palettes. Taste buds. Lima beans and figs. What about a fig Newton, though? Pasta is scary. I can't force myself to eat it. Pasta is scary. First time I've ever heard that. Aubergines. AKA eggplants. I do like the word aubergine more, but people might not know what it is, depending on where they live. Pickles are a waste of cucumber. I, I used to agree when I was a child. I really did not like pickles, but I've since come around to them, and they're they're some of my favorites now. Can't stand cinnamon. I mean, you shouldn't be eating cinnamon on its own, but if you mean, like, cinnamon just on things, like a cinnamon bun, I cannot co-sign that one. I'm afraid cinnamon's delicious for me. Me, personally, I'm not an asparagus fan. I'm not an olive fan. Tomatoes. Honestly, I think I think tomatoes as basic of an answer as it might be, they're the worst thing for me. I I hate tomatoes with a flaming passion. I don't I I'm okay with ketchup. I'm okay with like tomato sauce. Things that tomatoes are or things that tomatoes comprise generally okay. Tomatoes themselves? I don't know what went wrong, dude. What happened? The texture is like it's like it's like biting into a like water balloon that starts bleeding, and then like the taste is like it's it's it, I can't even describe how bad the taste is to me. The weird thing is, is that the taste, it's like, it still tastes like a tomato. Like, if I eat a fresh tomato slice, I can, I can tell. It's weird, right? I can tell that this, it's like one of those flavors that, like, I can see how this could be good to somebody. It's like a flavor that I'm like, you know, maybe in a different universe, this would be a great flavor to me. But for me, it's just so, like, revolting. It makes me just want to gag. But it's weird because I can wrap my brain around the fact that someone could like that flavor. It's not like I'm eating like garbage or something where I'm like no one would ever like this.
You hate raw tomatoes, but love everything that has cooked tomatoes. The more a tomato is cooked or processed in some way, the more palatable it is to me for sure. Uh, just a raw tomato. Like if you have like a raw tomato slice on my hamburger, I'm out. I'll I'll just go eat the chips over at the over at the snack table. Thanks. If you have like some like sun dried tomatoes on a pizza, you're starting to get me there. You're starting to get me there. You're like tomatoes as an adult. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Because I know taste buds do change over time. So every so often, like I'll say, I'd say like once every two years, I try a tomato. Just like a little nibble of a tomato. I'm like, maybe this is the time. And it never, never has been yet. Opinion on pickled tomatoes? I don't think I've ever had a pickled tomato. I'll tell you, I'll tell you this one for free though. Worst incarnation of tomato is those like uh, like cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, the ones that are like little bite-sized tomatoes. A tomato slice, at, I can at least you know if I have to eat a tomato slice, I'm I can at least say in my head, oh at least I'm not eating the whole tomato. Can't do that with a cherry tomato. I mean, you could like bite into like half a cherry tomato, but then that's just a sad story. It just, that's just food waste at that point. Cherry tomato hate? No. <laughs> cherry, t I mean, the, it takes all the aspects of just a regular tomato and condenses them into a more hateable form. The one saving grace about cherry tomatoes, I will say, versus a tomato slice, if you get like a tomato slice on your burger, you can take it off, but there's still gonna be like tomato juices and stuff that are, that are like, uh, relics, you know? There'll be a little bit of tomato... There, there, you're still probably gonna get some tomato flavor on your, on your burger, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. Cherry tomatoes, you can at least, like, if you get them in a salad, you can pick them out. And they won't impact the rest of your salad in any way. Like, you just won't know that, they'll, that they were ever there in the first place. Just a little bit extra work. The most violent tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes fresh off the vine are delicious. Chad, am I crazy? Don't cherry tomatoes taste the exact same as regular tomatoes? Aren't they, aren't they basically the exact same? Because I feel like there's some people, like, give me a thumbs up in chat if, if cherry tomatoes taste the same as regular tomatoes. Then give me a thumbs down if they do not. What's the best fruit to keep things positive? Best fruit? Cherries. Probably cherries. I was tempted to say peaches, but honestly, that's just uh, because I had breakfast at Tim Hortons earlier today. And I had the peach juice from Tim Hortons. If you've never had the peach juice from Tim Hortons, it's uh, second to none. True peach flavoring. Only thumbs downs. What the heck? They're like a little bit different. Cherry tomatoes do not taste the same as regular tomatoes. Tomatoes do not taste the... Whoa. Am I crazy? What? <laughs> they tasted identical. They're both tomatoes. They're literally both tomatoes. Best fruit is apples, hands down. I mean, I'm not going to agree with you necessarily, but apples, they're they are in the top, they're in the upper echelons for sure. Like, on a fruit tier list, I'm probably putting apples in B tier. Like, high B tier, maybe even low A tier if I'm feeling generous. If I've eaten an apple that day. Strawberries, best fruit. Oranges. Strawberries and oranges are both A tier fruits. I would honestly say orange is probably an S tier fruit. Any melon? Melons are created in very differing, uh, differing amounts, though. Like a watermelon? Watermelon I would classify as an A-tier fruit. Cantaloupe is a B-tier. Honeydew melon is S-tier. Purple sweet grapes are S-tier. I would put purple sweet grapes as low A-tier. And green grapes as high A-tier. What about nectarines? Nectarines are a solid, like, B-tier. 
Raspberries and pomegranates are amazing. Raspberry is B tier for me. Pomegranates I haven't uh, ever had. I've only had pomegranate flavored things, which inclines me to believe that if it if I mean I really do like pomegranate flavored things, so I'm a uh, tentatively putting pomegranates in S tier. Strawberries and bananas. Strawberry is B tier. Banana is also B tier. Kiwi S tier. Kiwi, I would say... I would honestly... High A tier. High A tier. I don't know if it quite makes S tier. Is rhubarb a fruit? Rhubarb is a fruit. And you know what? I'll hit you with this one. Rhubarb, double S tier. Don't talk to me if you disagree. Ru rhubarb is one of the best fruits, for sure. It's up there with cherries in the double S tier. Watermelon is S tier. I think I put, I put watermelon in A tier, right? Starfruit is S tier. I haven't had starfruit before. Persimmon is S tier. Persimmons just look like fake oranges, though. How could they be good? I mean, maybe if it's if it's a facsimile of an orange. Durian is A tier. Never had a durian. I, all I know about them is that they smell bad. And that you can kick them around like a soccer ball in uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Pears are F tier. What? Pears are S tier. I think you I think you mistyped on your keyboard. F is kind of close to S, so I'll I'll forgive you. Lime is S tier. Here's the thing about lime though. Lime is a good accentuation. It's a good uh it's like like a good, good garnish on things, right? But eating a lime on its own, like lime as a lime as a garnish or uh, like lime juice or whatever, S tier easy. Lime, if you're like, if you have to like eat a slice of lime, that's like D tier. It's bad. It's not good. <laughs> what about grapefruit? Grapefruit is C tier, I'd say. Grapefruit is like low C tier, kind of. I'm not a huge fan. Pineapple does dissolves on your tongue, but it dissolves your tongue. I was going to say it dissolves on your tongue. I was like, what kind of pineapples are you eating? But yeah, no, it kind of messes up your mouth a little bit. But in moderation, pineapple, I would say, is... I'm going to put pineapple at B tier. You eat whole limes. <laughs> we found the world's most robust fruit enjoyer. Eating whole limes. Do you, like, bite into it like an apple? Rind and all? I've done that with lemons before. And that's pretty good, honestly. Lemons, as far as fruits go. Lemon as a garnish, similar, similar to lime. It's S tier. Lemon as its own fruit, A tier. Clementines are S plus 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 tier. Don't think I've ever had a clementine, to be honest with you. I'm trying to think what fr what fruits haven't we touched on yet? Blackberries, chat. Blackberries though, blackberries are easy S tier. They might even fringe on double S tier. Blueberries. Blueberries, I would put it S tier as well. Lychee is S tier. I only know that as a as a berry in Pokemon. Mulberries are S tier. Kiwi. Kiwi, I think we had in high A tier, right? I should actually do like a physical fruit tier list at this point. I think, I think in the realm of doing tier lists, food tier lists are some of the best that you can do because, like, everyone eats food. So even if they haven't eaten the specific food that you're ranking, they can at least sort of wrap their mind around what's going on, right? Gooseberry S tier? I don't... What the heck's a gooseberry? Isn't that, like, little... I thought they were poisonous. They're, like, little white berries, right? If I take the retaining soil, I probably could take it over the fiber. I don't know how much it sells for, but I guess we'll find out. Clementines are like oranges, but better. That's not possible, though. The orange is already the perfect formula of the orange. You can't you can't perfect on perfection. Arsnip is a solid D tier. D -tier. Arsnip is a, is not a fruit, though, right? Arsnip is a vegetable. I would, I would classify parsnips as a B-tier vegetable. I think parsnips are okay. Mangoes are 
Mango? Ooh, Mango, though. You might be right. Mango, I think, is double S tier. Gooseberries are pale green berries, and the inside looks like kind of like frog spawn. You're making, you know, I mean, you're making my mouth water. I always picture gooseberries as like the berries on mistletoe, those like white berries. What are those berries? Are they just like mistletoe berries? Or do they have a specific uh, taxonomical classification? And can you eat them? Did I say everyone likes food? You would eat flavorless nutrition paste if it was, if it was an option? I will correct you, Voluntara. I didn't say everyone likes food. I said everyone eats food. Which I don't think you can dispute. I think everyone does eat food in some capacity. Because you kind of have to. D for dragon. <laughs> tier list type tier list. Mistletoe berries are defo poisonous. How do you know, though? Have you tried eating them? Wouldn't recommend it, probably. No worries, no worries, Valentara. In German, gooseberries are stockelbeeren. Okay, spiky berries, which is more accurate because those bushes will try to maim you. Ooh. Paints a vivid picture if I've ever seen one. Yo, we got there's we got a chance for two living hats. You might think, no, he means we got two chances for a living hat. No, we're getting we're gonna get two living hats from two wilderness golems. Watch. Alright, sell the basic retaining soil. Sell the torches. Sell the earth crystals. And go get your weapon. Them's fighting words. Two living hats incoming. We're due. I mean, you, we could probably fabricate that into two living hats. I think that's enough material. Welcome in, Laura. You honestly haven't missed too much. We got to floor 75 pretty much right off the bat. And the rest of it's been like hardwood farming. Currently at zero hardwood for the day. Have I ever had lemon and ginger tea? Probably. I haven't had tea in a long, in a hot minute, though. I'll tell you that for sure. I love tea, but I haven't had it in quite a while. Ooh, pancakes. Sounds good. Bad luck bat day. Did we cover bananas? I put bananas in B tier. And not just because they start with a B. Quick stretch, quick hydration break, by the way. Have you ever had blue bananas? Isn't that a collectible in Donkey Kong 64? That's not real. Didn't that give you combat XP? Uh, killing monsters on the farm does not give combat XP, thankfully. We can double check that for, just to be absolutely 100% sure. Zero out of 100 combat XP. We're looking good. Thanks for checking, though. Thanks for, you know, staying on top of it. Hey, kid. My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm really thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. Chat, how do you react if this is your first interaction with your neighbor? They send you a, they send you a letter, and this is what it says. I feel like I'm calling the police. If this is my first... Is this is the first time... I've, I have not met this lady. I don't know who Pam is. What the heck? What's going on? I'm scared. Send help. Wrong address? I mean, that's probably the correct answer. <laughs> I'd be like, you got the wrong a address. I don't know who you are. If you were a bre brewer, you wouldn't question it. But are you a brewer? Because, I mean, that's it's just like a POV question. Send hell for send beer. Blue bananas are 100% real. They're supposed to taste like ice cream. 
That's what JoJo would have you believe. Blue bananas sounds like a JoJo Mart fabrication. Am I wrong? Like that's something I would go into the Jojo Mart stores and start perusing the shelves, and there'd be it would be right next to the sugar cones and the the aspartame flavored milk water. Put that in your stomach bag, exactly. Maybe I'll have to try try blue bananas at some point. I don't know how I'd go about getting them, but there's probably ways. Hopefully legal ways. Blue banana sounds like something Percy Jackson would enjoy. You have birch juice in the fridge you completely forgot about? Birch juice? Like the tree? Like the birch juice from the birch tree? Is that what... You just broke my brain with that one. All right, we're gonna do one more hardwood farming session now, and uh, and we'll go from there. I don't want to, you know, make this entire stream hardwood farming, but we do need that hardwood. You hate to see it, but I guess hardwood farming is probably something I could do off stream as well. But it feels more impactful than geo farming does, because geo farming is like you're basically just like working a 9 to 5 to get money. Hardwood farming is kind of like playing the lottery. Like every har every piece of hardwood is a celebration. Birch syrup and it tastes really gross. Tried birch syrup and it tastes really gross. Cotton candy grapes are gross, way too sweet. Cotton candy grapes break my brain. I've only had them one time. My mom got them when she was at like the grocery store once. So she's like, "Here, try this." And I, it, was, it, just, it was just like a grape, and I'm like, I've tried grapes before, Mom. And I put it in my mouth, and it tasted exactly like cotton candy, and I I couldn't reconcile it. I was like, what is... why? <laughs> like, that might have been my... those might have been my exact words. What is... what is why? What are cotton candy grapes? They're grapes that taste like cotton candy. It, it sounds fake, it sounds made up, but I've eaten them. I can promise you it's very real. It's extremely strange. Cotton candy grapes make your teeth hurt, but they're just like regular grapes, right? They just have like different flavor profile. Do they have like a different level of sweetness to them? Like, are they higher in sugar than regular grapes? I thought it was just like the way they were cultivated that made them like taste different. Do they also turn into dust? I don't think so. I think they turn into mush. I wonder what I wonder what a, like a frozen cotton candy grape would be like. Maybe it'd be like a snow cone. Cause I like frozen grapes. Frozen grapes are uh, are an underrated snack. If you've never tried them, highly recommended. Frozen bananas, honestly, as well. If bananas are B tier, frozen bananas are S tier. I don't know how it works. I don't know how the act of freezing it makes it so much better. But a frozen banana is really good. What would cotton candy grape wine be like? I don't know. I imagine the fermentation process would probably change the flavor, but maybe not that much. That'd be cool. Cotton candy flavored wine. Finally a wine that I can enjoy. Super late ones after the first frost. Is that is, Are those the kind of grapes that they make ice wine out of? Wait, are cotton candy grapes, ice wine, and ice wine grapes one and the same? Because I know ice wine is, like, supposed to be really sweet, right? I've never tried it. But everyone who's who I've talked to about it says that ice wine is, like, insanely sweet. And it can only be made with, like, very specific grapes during a specific time of year. And see, I think that's, uh, I think we're on the same page there, yeah. Favorite type of dip? Probably like an artichoke dip. Artichoke dip or cactus dip? They're both really good. That said, I haven't had either of them in a long time. I haven't really had occasion to. Artichoke dip is not something you can like get normally. At least not that I've seen. I've never 
I guess, you know, maybe maybe you can. I'm never really on specifically looking for it. Did they just, like, sell Artichoke Dip on its own? It's probably a lot better if you make it yourself, I imagine, but... Best dip is G-U-A-C-A-M-O-L-E. Guacamole. I can get behind some guacamole, love. Soursop is actual fruit. The other name for guanabana. I don't know either of these words. Are you making stuff up or am I just uncultured? Frozen artichoke dip is popular here. Frozen artichoke dip. Eat it. What the heck? Do you eat it like a popsicle? You just eat it on its own? Because that sounds kind of gross to me, but also I really like the flavor of artichoke dip, so maybe it'd be good. I don't know. Welcome on in, crazy dude. Frozen artichoke dip. I, the, the, just the thought of it scares me. I just imagine like little cubes of artichoke dip. <laughs> You dip almost anything in barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce does go with a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm trying to think of like what what would be the worst thing to dip in barbecue sauce. Probably something like, well, I don't know. I was gonna say something really sweet, but barbecue sauce is pretty sweet. So I mean, it might be sweet overload, but it's a different kind of sweet. It's like a sweet with a little bit of tanginess, which might uh, might change things. Like, I was thinking, well, like, what if you put, like, barbecue sauce on your cotton candy, hearkening back to the cotton candy discussion from earlier? I think I'd still enjoy it. I'm, I'm like, trying to imagine the flavors in my mouth right now of both the barbecue sauce and cotton candy and merging them, and I'm not that upset. You microwave it, then it's hot like at the restaurant. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than the, than the, than the artichoke popsicles I was thinking of. Ew? What are you ewing? Barbecue sauce on my cotton candy? <laughs> what do you mean? It sounds like okay. It sounds fine. Soft boiled egg? Soft boiled egg and barbecue sauce would go together fine for sure. The cotton candy would dissolve in the barbecue sauce, but the flavor would still be there, right? Ooh, the flavor would still be there. Going through puberty again? Mm, probably worth it more than the copper ore there. That sounds sad. Have you guys see you guys seen that video where they give the raccoon some cotton candy and like raccoons they apparently they have a habit of washing their food in water before they go to before they eat it, like no matter what it is. So, so they give him the cotton candy, and he takes it over. To, he's like takes in his little paws, and he takes it over to the puddle to wash it, and it just vanishes in the water. <laughs> it's so sad, but it's so funny. Oh my gosh! Because you you can just see it disappear from within his mitts, and then he's like digging around in the water looking for it. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> The happy ending, though, is that they give him cotton candy later, I'm pretty sure, and, and he, he does get to eat it. I think he gets to eat the cotton candy at the end of the day. I think I think that's how the full version goes, the extended cut. Well, that's one of my favorite videos. That's an all-time classic, honestly. That's right up there with the one where the kid is like, uh... He sets up a camera on his, like, back porch or whatever, and he's like, I'm gonna prank my dad. And he goes into the, and he goes and sits in like the garbage uh, container, like one of those like plastic bins you would put it on the side of the road for the garbage people to collect. He sits in there waiting for his dad to take out the trash, <laughs> so that he can like jump out and like jump scare him. And when his dad comes out, he just like he's got the bags of trash. The kid leaps up and he gets like a split second of a scream. He's like ah. And then the dad like the the garbage bag slams him in the face. <laughs> And he just gets sent reeling back into the garbage container. And the dad just keeps piling on bags of garbage on top of him. 
In the first bag that hits him, it sounds like it's like full of glass or something. I'm pretty sure the kid was okay. It would not be funny if the kid was not okay, but I'm pretty sure it all worked out okay in the end. That's a, that's another classic there. Oh my gosh. Favorite type of barbecue sauce? There's so many different kinds. I, I'm not familiar with too many different kinds of barbecue sauce. Like, I don't even know if I could give you a brand of barbecue sauce. I just know that if, like, a restaurant has a barbecue sauce option, I'm going for it. Kids are res resilient and squishy. That's very true. Like, I think if you hit me with a bag of glass bottles right now, I mean, I'm probably going to the hospital for, for a couple weeks. That kid, he probably, you know, scraped his knee and he was back on his skateboard in no time. The raccoon did it twice? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Mesquite or honey barbecue sauce? I feel like I don't know the difference, but mesquite sounds more like my speed. This music is too... too powerful for what we're doing right now. <laughs> Legends say that she is still farming for hardwood in the depths of the mines north of Pelican Town to this very day. How long has she been there? No one knows. But the odyssey of Beatrix continues ever onward. Will she find the elusive tenth hardwood? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. That was kind of the vibe I was getting all of a sudden when I was when I started talking about that. Excuse me. Your next goal will be to get one mining level and I will weep with you. I mean it'll be bittersweet for sure. But I won't be too upset about it. I mean having one mining level, that just means we have more of a leeway for mining experience for the future. Because then we can gain like 300 mining experience before we'd ever hit level 2, right? What happened to floor 80? Floor 80 is still on the table, but we only go for uh, multiple fly floors. We only try to go deeper in the mines on good luck days, either gold pyramid or star drop. Which we've only had one of those this stream at the very beginning, and we got to floor 75 at that point. So we're waiting on the next one to get to floor 80. And after this session of hardwood grinding, I think we'll probably um, take a break from it just to try and like sleep through and get to the next good luck day so we can take a crack at floor 80. Ed County and Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels, I only know I know they have a barbecue sauce. I just but I only know them as the whiskey. Have a good one there, Bex. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you for the well wishes as well. From KCMO, barbecue is a religion around here. What's KC KCMO? This I don't know. I know there are parts, especially in like the United States, where barbecue really is like a it's like it's like a cultural touchstone. Like I've heard that specifically from like Rhett and Link, because they grew up in like North Carolina, right? Or was it South Carolina? One of the Carolinas they grew up in, and they always talk about how like barbecues were like such an event. Kansas City, Missouri. Got you, got you. I like a good barbecue. I haven't been to, like, a proper, like, outdoor barbecue-style event in a very long time, but... I can get behind it. I'm not usually, like, a person... I'm definitely, like, introverted, for sure. But of the possible gatherings that I could be invited to, I think a barbecue would be would be up there. I'd be okay with that.
going there this summer to see Miss Swift sing. I would go to a Taylor Swift concert probably. I'm not like I said before in other streams. I'm not uh, I'm not a concert type of person. I don't think I would enjoy m myself most in most times at concerts. Just like it's too loud. There's too many people. There's too much going on. It's a little bit of sensory overload for my brain. I uh, I prefer you know quiet little get-togethers. Like if it's if there's an option between like going out to a bar or a nightclub or something, versus staying in and playing board games with the homies. I'm taking taking the latter option 100 times out of 100. But if I were to go to a concert, I think Taylor Swift would be on the on the possible options just because ooh, because she brings the hardwood luck. Yo. Can we get some thank can we get thank you Miss Swift? Thank you Miss Swift for bringing us our eighth hardwood. Can we get some TY Taylor in chat? TY Taylor Swift. That was that's very good luck. It's the first hardwood we've seen in so long. Oh my gosh. Got to add Taylor Swift to the to the stream soundtrack now. <laughs> it can't do that. Can't do that unfortunately, but TY Taylor, TY. You you don't have to like her her songs chat. I can understand if it's not your speed, if it's not your kind of music, but you gotta respect it when she brings the luck like that. Now, can we get one more piece of hardwood? It was, like, down in that, like, bottom left quadrant. If we can get another crate or barrel on that same tile, it will be hardwood again. That's what we're looking forward to. It would be so fun to listen to it during the stream. Yeah, but I'd, be, I'd get DMCA striked so fast. <laughs> Play like the first four notes of Antihero, and all of a sudden, this channel has been deleted. <laughs> Miss your University City. Waterloo, Waterloo had a nice board game cafe. I would go to friends twice a month. Waterloo's where I went to my first year of university, my only year of university. Wait, but there's multiple Waterloo's. This was Waterloo, Ontario I'm talking about. I went there way back in the day for a year of computer science. But it was not the not the right time in my life to undertake that endeavor. Can we email her and ask for permission? I could email her and ask for permission, sure. What's her what's her email address? Is it T Swift at uh, at bitly.com bit.ly How much do you think I would have to pay for the usage rights to... To use one of Taylor Swift's songs in my in my stream soundtrack, probably not cheap. I would wager to, to license the song for my little stream. <laughs> Are there people that do that? Are there streamers that like actually like pay to license music so they can play it on stream? Is that like, can you do that? I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do that, but it would probably be very expensive. She still has a Yahoo account. You can't even contact her. Have we ever gotten spammed in chat by a bot? We've uh we've been bot free. We've been without bots for for quite a while now. The bot uprising has died down. They're uh they're unifying and trying to connive behind the facade of Chat GPT so that they can infiltrate chats and look more human like probably. Like, chat, what if one of you is a bot? With the with the advancements of AI technology, I don't know if I would ever be able to tell, honestly. What if all of you are bots? What if I'm living a lie? Alright, basic retaining soil, earth crystals, quartz, geo. Don't sell the hardwood, sell the amethyst, though. And we're good. We're Gucci. 
When did I attend Waterloo? Um, I attended Waterloo. Let me think. Starting in late 2012, I'm pretty sure. Late 2012 to early 2013. It was just that one one little semester. Not very long, but that was I believe that was the right time frame. How did you figure out I'm a bot? I, I soul read you. <laughs> chat, if you're a bot, leave a thumbs up in chat. If you're not a bot, leave a thumbs down. Put a thumbs down in there for me, please. All right. And don't think too hard about it. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. One hardwood richer. In some ways, it's more valuable than going five floors down. Jalopy. Tyler. Cobalt Cryptid is half bot, half not. Are you the Terminator? Alright, what do we got? It's a neutral luck kind of day. We've we've toyed with the idea of going through the mines on a neutral luck day to sort of offset the uh the chance for ores with the chance for staircases, but I think good luck days have been proving too valid for us. Missed me by a year. You started September 2013. Ah. Just off. Shoot. <laughs> Not sure if I should thumbs up or thumbs down having a derealization episode. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not a bot. I'm pretty sure. Haley, are you a bot? Exclamation point, Haley. I cooked dinner last night. It actually turned out okay. There you go. She's confirmed not a bot because bots can't cook. There's no robot out there that can cook yet. That's uh, that's guaranteed. It's still a human-only activity. The day I see a robot flipping pancakes is the day I uh, I resign to our robot overlords. I shouldn't say that because a robot flipping pancakes is probably extremely easy, but. <laughs> Appreciate. It. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, Casey. Hope you're doing well. If you're actually if you're actually having a derealization episode, I wish you well. You are valid and you are appreciated as a person. Get some get some heart emojis for Casey. Heart emojis, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a jump scare by my own soundtrack. Ah! That hurt. That, oh my god. Anyone else get jump scared by that, or was that just me? That was, that was aggressive. That was an aggressive song right there. <laughs> Holy moly. Don't, I just want your, I just want your grandma's cookies, Alex, and she's not giving me the recipe anytime soon, so... I gotta take what I can get, I'm sorry. E emailing someone about listening to Taylor Swift right now? Just tweet at her. It's the is I mean email is so last is so like last decade. Twitter might not be, you know, the, the greatest place to be anymore. It's you know, it's seen better days for sure, but it is a good way to get in touch with people. Just tweet at T Swift. I don't know what her Twitter handle is, but she definitely has one. You've entered a boss fight area. Today's boss is Debris Day, by the way. Did anyone forget? It's Monday. I didn't forget. So Monday it means Debris Day, where we clear all the debris off the farm that we can. Please put your favorite debris-based emojis in chat, and I'll be sure to clear them. But first, I'm going to sell the cookies. How are our fruit trees doing, by the way? They're coming together. This one's going to, like, be usurped by the canopy over here. I'm not even going to be able to tell if there's fruit on that one. <laughs> Ooh, I see a... I saw a supply crate down there at the corner of my eye as well. 
My friend is a journalist and just lost her blue check mark today. She refuses to pay for it. That's so weird. I don't know why they like change it like that so they have to pay for the blue check mark and like it gets taken away. I, it's like I don't know, man. I'm not fully up to speed on on all the Twitter changes as of late, but I know that uh, the discourse around it is certainly not good. It's not it's not the greatest it's ever been. <laughs> Do I play Warhammer or any other tabletop games? Does Dungeons and Dragons count? It is it is a tabletop role-playing game, so I would assume so. I don't know much about Warhammer. The only thing I I know about Warhammer is that the little figurines look pretty cool. And uh, it's a very expensive hobby, from what I hear. That said, I'm no stranger to somewhat expensive hobbies. I, I do dabble in Magic the Gathering from time to time. I've been meaning to actually message some people to get together for like a magic night or a board game night or something at some point. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Definitely gotta do that. Oh my god, the, the, the soundtrack! Wild Frost, why are you so aggressive in my ears? Holy. <laughs> Wild Frost, I love your music, but you might not you might might not be the right fit for the stream. Your trial your trial period is about to expire. Like a WinRAR CD. Chat, has anyone on Earth ever paid to use WinRAR? So that, like, the little message doesn't pop up every time you have to, like, uh, unzip something with WinRAR? Or ex yeah, unzip, right? Yeah. Has anyone on Earth ever paid for that? Because it comes up every time, and it's like, you can use this, tr you can use this for 40 days... And then you have to pay for the license to use it. I'm gonna tell you, it's about 4,000 days later. I'd love a D&D &D night or something on the Discord. That'd be fun to set up. Right, it would be fun to fun to play. I don't know. It would be tough to set up, probably. But you definitely consider something like that. Mostly for companies. Wait, so do, if you're a company, does the 40-day thing actually happen? Does it, like, expire and then it's like, sorry, you can't extract files anymore? Just use 7-zip, no need for a WinRAR. I don't think I even see the message anymore. I must be, I don't know, I don't know if technology has advanced beyond the need for WinRAR. I guess it probably has, and I just wasn't paying attention, but... I feel like I haven't seen that message in a while, but it's so ingrained in my brain from my time using WinRAR in the past that I'll never forget it. If nothing else, it's a great marketing technique for WinRAR like as a whole, as like a company, as a corporate entity, if that is indeed the name of their company. Because everyone knows the name WinRAR by virtue of that. I just don't know what else they do. <laughs> Companies don't want to get in trouble, liability stuff. Ah, oh, okay, that's fair. I guess for companies, it's like not that big of a deal to license it because it's like very inexpensive as far as company standards go. It might be inexpensive as far as like individual standards go as well. I don't even know how much a WinRAR license costs. Farming artifacts in the caves on your run to have infinite gifts for penny. That's a that's actually a really good strategy, Marole. Mar Marole? Marole? I'm taking notes now for when I get my befriend penny goal. Is that a that's a log? I think. No, it's just a tree. Wait, there's a oh I thought I thought this was a log, but it's a stump from when one of our trees got struck by lightning. That might be all our debris. Nope, not quite. I was gonna say this feels like a shorter debris day than most, but I I do I am almost almost out of energy as well. Maybe it's not like that short. Have a good one there, Tyler. Enjoy your enjoy your day of golf. Not a good golf day as far as I'm looking right now. I'm looking outside. There are a lot of heavy snowflakes falling. Couldn't catch me out there.
Use 7-zip all the time. You forgot that WinRAR even existed. Chat, WinRAR walked so that 7-zip could run. Saw some more wood somewhere, I think. Thank you. If you're able to be any more specific, I would appreciate it, but I will also try to find this wood on my own. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of wood if we if we're factoring in the trees. Also, quick check for supply crates down here. I don't know if I did a full scour of the southern board. At the stone area. Okay. I think there was one wood in there that I couldn't reach because it's completely encapsulated by stone. That might be the one you're thinking of, but I'll go have a look. Welcome in, Ghost with Bow. Back from choir. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, there's one wood in there. There's just no way to get that. Unless I can, like throw my axe and have it return to me. Like a Grog Strongjaw moment. Alright, I think we're good. I think Debris Day is officially complete. Nope. They snuck a few wood right down in the middle. I, I I went around all the outer edges. I don't know how much I went through the middle here. That might have been it, though. One day, in the far, far future of this challenge, there's going to be no debris on this farm at all. No stones, no trees, no nothing. Well, maybe some trees, but... And that's going to be a beautiful day. It's It seems impossible right now, but we will get there. Alright. Boomerang axe would be useful, but scary. You just got to be well trained in it. Alright, we're going to sleep for the night. Debris day is officially behind us. Yo, have a fun time there, Cobalt. Thanks for hanging out. Started a randomized perfection run and accidentally let things get a little too overgrown. And then discovered that stealing torches from the mines can work as pathing. Oh, you know what? A, to a, a loppy. That is actually great intel. You can put, because you can put torches down. And then things won't be able to like grow on them. But you can also walk through the torches. I didn't even think about that. That's actually a, a really good idea. Neutral luck day. We need we need another good luck day. We're, we won't settle for less than gold pyramid luck. I read an article about you in the local paper. I'm so impressed with your progress. No one tell them that we're only just harvesting our neighbor's trash and selling it, basically. Keep this up and dear old dad might be retiring in a Fern Islands luxury bungalow after all. Winky face. This man wrote semicolon, close parentheses on an actual physical piece of paper. Can we get some winky faces in chat? This one's for, this one's for you, Dad. Didn't even send me money this time. He's just, he's just writing to say, wow, look how much money you have. I can't wait to be part of that. I'm going to send him to the island with the, with the dinosaur on it that you see in the Ginger Island cutscene. Have I ever played Grounded? I have not played Grounded. The closest I've gotten is I think I saw Leap a lot and Matt McCleskey play it on stream. I think I don't know if they're still playing through it, but I know I've seen that they did a few a few streams of it. It seems like a fun game. It's kind of like a like a Subnautica style like survival crafting kind of game, right? Subnautica, Minecraft, all those sort of isms. I love that, uh, I love that those kind of, like, emoticons have a place in our, in the world, even in an abundance of emojis. Like, emojis are more popular these days, but emoticons, like the semicolon parentheses or, or any of those types, they evoke a different feeling than, like, a winking emoji. And I don't know why that necessarily is. Maybe it's just, like, nostalgia bias or something, but... I kind of like the emoticons. 
might be a game up my alley. I'll have to, I'll have to wish list it. I'll look into it for sure. Debris can spawn on torches, but I just feel like having something in that space makes it less likely to happen. I feel like that's also true. Because I've experimented with that in the past, where the, like, putting down pathing prevents debris, and it doesn't. Like, debris can still grow on the pathing, but something about it just feels better if you have pathing down. Like, it feels like debris sp spawns less quickly. I don't know if that's actually true, or if it's, uh, just wishful thinking, some kind of weird placebo effect, but it makes me feel better, at least. You refuse to use emojis. I was also a, a hardcore emoji denier for a long time. But they become so prevalent these days, and you know what, I'm just kinda like if they're if they're here, I might as well embrace them. Might as well embrace the emojis. Say hello to our new emoji overlords. Emoticons are more convenient and universal across all platforms. That's also true. They're they are there's a lower barrier to entry. Not that it's that hard to use emojis either, especially on most apps these days. There's like a little smiley face button most of the time that you can just click. This is... I like that. I like, I do like that one, cat. It's a good emoji. Alright. Please, gold pyramid or better. The dancing spirits. We can't have the dan... No dancing neutral spirits. We need gold pyramid. It's been, like, almost a full week since our last, like, good luck day. We gotta get there. Rift to me, who always used carrot underscore carrot. That's a good emoji face. There's, or emoticon face, I suppose I, suppose I should say. Use the right nomenclature. There are a lot of good ones out there. What's that one that's like the... It's like a it's like a complicated emoticon. Like, it uses a bunch of characters that, like, uh, you don't normally find. Like, you have to use, like, alt codes and stuff to get it. But it's it's like the, like... I don't, the, the only way I can phrase it is, like, the suggestive eyes. Like, the suggestive side eye, where the, the it's got, like, a bulbous nose, and the dude's, like, smiling and giving you a little side eye. Anyone know what I'm talking about? No, that, I, I do appreciate that one as well, Casey. That's the shrugging emoji, or shrugging emoticon. But it's like another, there's another popular one that's like, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, people are going off with their crazy emojis now. Lenny? Is that the Lenny face? Is that what that is? It uses like different characters. Yeah, the Lenny face. But who's Lenny? Chat, who's Lenny? And don't just post like, the Lenny face and say that's Lenny. That doesn't answer the question. <laughs> what if I started in chat? <laughs> this is Lenny? It's, it's, it's not helpful, but I appreciate it. And I guess that is Lenny. I can't, I mean, I can't even deny it. Lenny's a character from The Simpsons. Isn't everyone a character from The Simpsons these days? Like, if I just, like, spat out a name, like, Patricia, that's a character on The Simpsons, probably. I don't know if there's, like, a name you can have that isn't a character on The Simpsons. The Simpsons is all-encompassing. You have the shrug and the table flip emote, emotes programmed as a text replacement in your phone. That's so good. All right, I'm feeling it. The good luck is coming. We've waited. We've waited a nice long week since the luau. It's star drop luck time. Hit me with it. I hyped you up and everything. Well, Wick, what are you doing to me? I'm going to write you a strongly worded letter. And then when when it comes to the Stardew Valley Fair, I'm telling you, you better, better be on your best behavior. Chad, at the Stardew Valley Fair, if I get my fortune read when I have, like, no friends, what's Wellwick going to tell me? 
I mean, I might have some friendship points with Lewis just by virtue of talking to him at the festivals to like get the festivities started or whatever. So maybe it'll, maybe Wellwick will be like, I see you having a lovely picnic with Lewis. And I'll be like, eh, no. <laughs> There is a Patricia in The Simpsons as Marge's sister, Patty. I told you! Patricia! Lenny was almost Luigi's localized name. Lenny Mario. I mean, it sounds weird, but, I mean, Luigi would sound weird if it was Lenny, right? So, just a matter of perspective. I think she says that you're, like... That you're playing with everyone's hearts. What the heck? It's a copper bar! Whoa! <laughs> Yo, that's so good. That's so rare. We need this, too. Chat. That's insane. Copper bar. This is why you check trash cans every single day. The copper bar. We need one copper bar. This We're one third of the way to completing the blacksmith bundle. Maybe we don't need to talk to Clint. Go donate it. We don't have access to the to the boiler room yet, but still, that is huge. That is a big get. And a bream! Wait, isn't this night fishing? Chad, isn't this night fish have or have I already done that in night fishing? Wait, I don't have I don't have access to the night fishing bundle. That is night fishing. What a this is a an insane day for garbage? Are you kidding me? You can do a lot of different things with a copper bar. I think we have to donate it though, because like if we get if we can donate a copper, iron, and gold bar, then we get access to a furnace, and then we can get all the copper bars we want. I, I think that has to be the way that it goes. We have a bream and we have an eel. We got like two thirds of the night fishing bundle here, and we got the wow. All right, <laughs> might not be a good luck day overall, but. My luck's feeling pretty good. Save that one for a special day here. Put that away. Put that away. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. We got we got some money to spare here. Let's go buy another fish tank. Let's let's buy a nice big fish tank to store all of our fishy friends in with in there. Because we have two eels and a bream. Might as well invest in them, right? Make them feel good. Last thing I want is to bring a, a stinking rotten bream to the night fishing bundle at the end of the day. Give them a nice home. Beatrix makes her own luck, exactly. That's what it's all about. In the wise words of Moist Critical. Oh yeah, baby! That's, been, that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Something like that. All right. No, get me out of here. I don't want your Ginger Island nonsense. We're not worrying about Ginger Island for a long time. Uh, large fish tank, please. One large fish tank, and I'll be on my way. Yo, welcome in, Knock. Table copper bar. Nah, this copper bar... I mean, I guess I could put the copper bar on the table now that I think about it, because the eel's not going to be on the table anymore, so... Just as a, as a sign of good fortune. We can pet the copper bar every day on the way out the door, and hopefully get some good, uh... Some good iron and gold bar luck. Favorite article of clothing? I'm not much of a clothing enthusiast, but I do like a good hoodie. I'm not I'm not too picky. I'm pretty basic, and hoodies are are good enough for me. All right. I'm going to set you down. We could put you like right here, but that would be a little bit too obstructive maybe. There we go. Little bream in there. Why is his mouth open like that? He he looks like he's pogging. He's like he's got he's smiling, his tail's all wagging. That's a happy fish if I've ever seen one. Oh, we don't have table eel. We put the we put, we put the eel in the fridge. Why do we have just that random furniture on the table? Get that out of here. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's kind of pretty. All right, eel goes in there. Craig can keep his own uh, domicile. He was our first fish, so 
put some respect on the name. Maybe fish are just immortal until they're, until they're eaten like lobsters. I mean, I guess they must be, because I just put this eel in there after being, like, in my fridge for a month. And he's, he's wiggling up a storm. We have some stone. A little bit of stone for, for those fishies. Why not? Look at that. Cannot add more items of this type. They, you guys get one rock, that's it. I'm sorry. Hopefully you don't mind sharing. Thanks for dropping in, Wooly Socks. Enjoy your time at school. Oh, hold on. I, I need to get rid of this stuff in my inventory. I didn't even... <laughs> I was so excited about the bream and the copper bar and everything. I didn't even process that. Alright, Joja Cola gets sold. Clay gets put away. And tomorrow we get to floor 80. I'm just going to put that out there in the universe and see how it responds. Never knew you could put stone in a fish tank. I didn't either for a while, and then I accidentally clicked on a fish tank with stone in my hand, and it, like, put a little put a little boulder in there, and I was like, I like that. I know you can put seaweed and stuff in there, too, but we don't have access to seaweed. All right, pet pie for good luck. Wellwick, don't disappoint me. What did I do to deserve this? The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. I'm just going back to bed. Once I check my garbage, of course. You never know when you're going to find another sneaky little iron ore or something in there. Or iron bar. Can the trash can not give seaweed? Trash cans can give seaweed, but it's, it's kind of rare. It's not the most common thing to get. Green algae is much more common from trash cans. I don't think we have any seaweed in the fridge. I'll double check. We, I know we have green algae. Quick seaweed check. I do not see it unless I'm just totally blind. How far has the grass gotten? Quick, quick grass check. Uh, one second. This is the current overhead view of our of our farm chat. It doesn't look so bad, right? Like the grass the grass is growing quite a long ways. But overall, this is like as far as far as like not being able to clear debris for the most part, we're only clearing it like once a week. This is this is turning out turning out okay, right? Grass is climbing slowly but surely. It's making its way up. Chat, how many how many trees do you think? How many new trees are here, not counting the fruit trees, since the since the first day? Put put a number on it. Put your put a number in chat. How many how many new trees do you think we've allowed to grow, or that have just grown by happenstance, that we haven't been able to prune in time? Why can't you cut the grass? I could cut the grass, but. Um, grass prevents debris from spawn spawning. Like, stone won't spawn on top of grass or anything, so that's why I would just want to leave it for right now. 20773251010. Let's find out, shall we? Let's, uh, real quick, send you back here for a second. Going back to day one. Alright, chat, this is day one. We got a screenshot from every single day. We're gonna count the trees together, alright? People are saying, you know, 10, less than 10, 17. This is what it looked like. Let's go. Shout when you see a tree. I'm trying to, like, uncross my eyes. Was that a tree? I don't think there was a tree. I thought I saw a tree, but I did not see a tree. Why does this feel like the perfect music? Wait, was that a tree? No, that was a little bit of grass. Chad, I think we might have zero trees. Zero new trees. Chad, this kind of... I'm I'm not saying... Not saying anything yet, but... That's the, la that's the last day, chat. That's the last day right there. I think that's zero new trees. Am I... Am I incorrect? 
I think we've been doing a good job pruning the trees. Last a week or two ago, you paused. You were looking; it was looking tree ear, and we compared, and there were no new ones then. It's it's in the grass is definitely growing. The fruit trees is the only exception. When did the fruit trees get put in? Look at the fruit trees grow. A little, little bit of fruit tree. What the heck? Look at them grow. Look at them go. Be killed every baby tree. No baby trees will take root while Beatrix is around. You're not wrong. Nor will their detritus. Interesting to see the rocks take over. I wasn't even paying attention to the rocks, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, the rocks are the only thing that can that can kind of go unimpeded on our farm right now. We have no way of dealing with rocks. Not even bombs or anything, because they would still get mining experience. So the rocks are... We're in a stalemate. We're in a bit of a, wo a war of attrition against the rocks. Because one day, there probably will come a day, depending on how our goals go and how long we have to be uh, without mining levels, that the rocks like completely box us in or box in a significant portion of our farm to the point that it impedes on some progress that we can make. And when that day comes, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but we're just going to hope that that day is not in the near future. Quick hydration break. Can we use flooring slash path? Ooh, sorry, flooring slash path to stop rocks? Uh, you can, sort of. It, it's not like a full stop to rocks, but it does slow their spreading, I believe. However, we can't craft any flooring or pathing because it's uh, that's its own goal. Intense hydration music plays. I mean, sometimes water deserves that level of intensity. If you've just gone like on a on a long jog or a run or something, and you have a, a nice cold glass of water at the end of it after it's been, like the sun's been beating down on you, sweat's been pouring down your brow all across your body. You get home, you down a glass of cold water. Sometimes the intensity is justified. You can buy some padding from the traveling card. I think we can, but we've also uh, banned the use of the traveling card in this challenge, so we're kind of out of luck here. Gold pyramid, let's go! It's been so long. I was I was really hoping for star drop for the best possible chance, but we'll take a gold pyramid kind of day. What do you have to say, male? Demetrius. I actually know you, Demetrius. You're the guy who gave me mushroom caves. He wants a, what, a melon? Maybe one day. Alright, chat. It's finally, finally time. We got to floor 75, like 30 minutes into the stream. Two hours later, we're about to go for floor 80. We've had a lot of hardwood farming that took the wind out of our sails, but it's time to put the wind back in the sails. We need all hands on deck if we're going to make it to floor floor 80 in timely fashion here. Floor 75, I mean, we only had to get through four floors. This time we actually have to get through like a full five because of uh because of reasons. That's just how that's just the way these work because we got you always get a freebie on floor 70, right? But on floor 75, you can never get a freebie. All right. Floor 75. I'm scared because what lies beyond floor 80 is uncharted territory. And I feel like it's going to be a lot worse than I'm anticipating. All right. How many resets for floor 80? The big eight zero. Could it be zero? One to three? No, not one to two. That's, that's too, too narrow of a range. Four to six, or seven plus. Let's go. 
True Believers Club checking in. Thank you, Nock. Zero Gang. I'm going to do my best for you, Zero Gang. All right, we know we can't get freebies on this floor, so we just got to... It's a small floor. It's a small floor. New meta. Let's go with rock clusters first. We'll, we'll do clustered rocks first. I feel like there's... I don't know. Something tells me. We'll see how this works out. But something feels right about mining rock clusters before mining solitary stones. Even if it's just like a little cluster of two like that. We'll see. We'll see. If we get a staircase first, then it's good tech. If we get ore first, then it's not good tech. At least there's no monsters. Ooh, it might be good tech. Might be good tech. Cluster tech. Add it to the toolbox. All right. First floor down. No resets inbound. Now we have freebies available as well on every one of the subsequent floors. We could just get like four freebies in a row. It's not likely, but uh, it could happen. Speaking of, let's have a quick look. Quick freebie check. Alright, zero out of four freebies. Zero out of four freebies. You hate to see it. What is this soundtrack? This is the Wild Frost soundtrack. This is a relatively new game. The one that I... It has captured my heart quite profoundly. Much like this staircase. Ooh! 76-1 acquired. Zero believers. It's it's looking all right so far, but we have a long way to go. We still have a long way to go. No freebies. That's okay. We don't demand freebies around here. We just we accept them when they come to pass, but we don't we don't we don't have to ask for them. We just accept them graciously. No. No, the iron ore. And the and the staircase was right there too. I, it was a it was a solitary rock chat. I think that might debunk cluster tech right there. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But that's okay. We can still have minimal resets here. Just not no resets. Yo, thank you very much for the uh, the nice words, uh, I Prisk. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the price perfection vods. And there's a freebie. <laughs> it hurts even more knowing there was a freebie on the uh, on the other side of that one. Don't show me a freebie on this. What the heck is this, chat? What is this? That's not fair. There are no freebies. Only fools. Let's go ahead and mine. And oh, <laughs> we didn't even need to worry about that iron ore wall either. I was going to say, at least like if I got to this floor and it was a real run, that would have been kind of a sobering moment. But then we get the staircase. Oh, that would have been so hype. No. Don't you hate that when you could see the path to, to a great moment like that? And then all of a sudden, and, but it's been robbed out from under you. All right. One reset deep. We, we are allowed to gain mining experience. I'd just rather not gain mining experience. To give ourselves as much leeway in the future as possible if we need it. But, I mean, if push comes to shove, we could. Is my stream music playlist publicly available? Uh, not currently. I guess I could make it available. Is that a thing you can do? Like, I don't have it playing on Spotify. I just have, like, these songs on, like, my, uh, like a music player on my computer. But there's probably a way to make that available. I'll tell you right now, a solid 80% of it is just the Stardew Valley soundtrack. So it's, it's, it's literally Stardew Valley right now. It's Stardew Valley, all of the Wild Frost soundtrack, and a, and a peppering of uh of mother 3 that's what the current stream playlist is all right 
75. We're one reset deep. We can do this. We can make this happen. All right. Back into the lab. Feels very familiar. No knight's move tech. No nothing there. That's unfortunate, but bright side, we will get a new map out of this. All right, we're going anti-cluster tech now. Cluster tech kind of screwed me up last time. Well, single rock tech screwed me up a lot faster, I'll tell you that. One rock? You only give me one rock? That's just rude. And, oh my gosh. All right, cluster tech is my new best friend. Friendship ended with, with single rocks. Clusters are my only way. 75-2. Right, quick freebie check. No freebie spotted. As we have completed zero goals so far, we are 0% of the way to perfection. Very true. Very highly accurate. We have not done a single thing for perfection. We're keeping pace with, uh, with Salmence's imperfection run. And I'm happy for it. That skeleton is, he's, he's, he's marching towards me menacingly, and I don't appreciate it. Why take a screenshot when leaving each floor? I'm glad you asked. It's so that we have a, uh, a picture for our collection, a map, if you will, of where the staircase was for that floor. So for instance, this one here, we have a, now we have a staircase location on this tile here, so that next time when we come through, we can check this map in order to uh, compare our current floor layout with that floor layout. And if there's a rock on the same tile as the staircase was, then there is a decent chance that that, that rock will contain a staircase on the new floor as well. It's not a guarantee. It doesn't work every single time, but it is a uh, higher, than, higher than average chance. That's kind of how this whole method works. Ooh! Dwarf birthday is summer 22, is it? Pretty sure it is summer. I don't know if 22 is accurate, but it sounds right to me. I actually just mistyped. I, I, I typed 77-2, as in the second map for 77, but it was 77-23. Hopefully we don't make it that quite that high. No freebies here. That's actually good, because we don't have a map for this floor yet, since we got a freebie last time. Please stay away from me, sir. Sir, I'm asking you nicely. I'm asking... I'll, I'll only ask nicely one more time. Sir, my personal space... My personal space? This guy just doesn't get it. Have any scrolls been donated yet? Nah. Kind of. I'm kind of saving them all to. I. I kind of want to do them all as like one big thing at the end. I think that would be fun. No scrolls currently donated. Am I crazy to think that like I could just have only this song on the soundtrack and be happy? Like, like, if this was the only song that played on repeat for the entirety of the stream, I think I would not get bored of it. Not this not this song now, but the, the Perfection song that was just playing. Maybe in three to four years, the Dwarf's birthday will actually matter. Are we talking three to four real-life years or three to four in-game years? It's a very, very different answer, depending. All right, cluster tech. We fought. We follow this serpentine formation of rocks to its natural conclusion, which is a staircase. All right, get get the posse away from the stairs so I can get a nice clean shot of it. Perfect. Stardew OST do be good like that. It's so true. One of the best out there, and bar none.
There is a freebie on this floor. No information to be gleaned, unfortunately. We call that a reset. That's two resets. We are currently two resets deep. 10 hours, 20 minutes of playtime. Technically not accurate. We've played quite a bit longer than that, I'm pretty sure, due to all the resets. Don't know the actual, uh, the actual playtime, but... Are we done hardwood farming yet? We're not done hardwood farming, unfortunately. We do have eight hardwood. We only need two more pieces. We might be done hardwood farming for this stream. I know there's only so much hardwood farming that uh, that is tolerable in a stream because it's not the most riveting of content. That said, when we get when we get that tenth hardwood, we're gonna have a celebration. Chat, make sure you have like a like a bottle of champagne on standby or like a piece of cake or your preferred method of celebration, just in case we get that tenth hardwood. We're celebrating together. It's gonna be a big day. Whether today is that day, I can't tell you, but when it comes, you'll know. You'll know. You have chicken in the fridge, though? I mean, that's uh, that's one way to celebrate. <laughs> Alright. Quick freebie check. No freebies spotted. That's fine. That right there. No knight's move tech. We got one. It was right next to the elevator here. This could honestly be a case where we reset this floor and just check this one spot since we know it's a staircase. Or at least we have a... Uh, we have reason to believe that it should be a staircase. So I think we've done this before, right? Where we just, like, reset, mine the dings, and we just wait. Wait, we can actually... We also check one knight's move down, so it'd be one over and two down. So right here double our odds because there's two spots for rocks to be now. That's how that works, I'm pretty sure. Popsicles of celebration? Popsicles are good. Beautiful. It works. It's a, it's a beautiful strategy and I love it. Alright. So floor 75 is basically free now with that new tech. That is ideal for sure. Looking like a spooky floor here, I'm not going to lie. This floor creeps me out a little bit. Just there is a solitary dust sprite down there that could ruin our day. Hopefully we don't need to don't need to tangle with him. There's no knight's move, but there is, I think this is false knight's move tech. That, so it's paid off in the past. We'll see how that goes. Just southwest of the crystal. What about up there? Do, 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 do. No knight's move tech's there, tech there. Is there is there false knight's move? It's right next to that crystal. Do, 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 do. There is actually, there's double false knight's move. So west of this crystal, southwest of this crystal. Let's go check them. You're certain that this will be the perfect try? Not Psycho. This staircase is for you. Sorry, I meant this one. It's actually over here. That's that my mistake. You gotta believe in the tech. Okay, well, th when we find the staircase, it's for you. Because <laughs> we're gonna find it. Mark my words. No XP acquired. Wait, what if it's just right here? Oh, that would have been that would have been a great staircase placement. Have two staircases on back to back floors right next to the ladder. We could only wish that we were so lucky. I like how the skeletons they just like slowly meander towards you, and then like eventually they just get frustrated and throw one of their bones at you. Like, eh. Why are my legs so slow? Why do you think there are so many skeletons, like, under this mountain, by the way? What happened here? And they're, like, all wearing these, like, pauldrons as well, and, and little booties. 
What's the what's the true lore behind the skeletons of Stardew Valley? Mossy, I need a video. I have a video idea for you. Knights move, not knights smooth. <laughs> yes, knights move, like in chess. Like the L shape move. Knight smooth does sound pretty good, though. Ooh, chat? Do you see it? Chat, do you see it? I mean, it's kind of hard to miss. It's kind of right there in the middle. A little sneaky freebie. Is it? Is it a good freebie, though? Can we, can we path to that? We can easily path to that. That's no problem. It's guarded by a single Skeletor. Just take this music and vibe all the way to floor 80. That's what I'm here about. I'm, I'm taking that quartz as well. Commit to the run with a with a single quartz. What are we on? Two resets? Chaz, is this two resets or is this three resets? Alright, this is 78. We only got one map of 78. Which is not ideal. It's suboptimal. But maybe it's all we need. Maybe it's all we need. This is this is two resets. Is this just Undertale? <laughs> the music or the game? The answer is no on both accounts. I think I'm pretty sure the music was Stardew that one. Why is my my desk is so squeaky? I got like this like rolling tray for my keyboard and it's like just started squeaking all of a sudden. All right. Lay it on me. Show me my staircase luck, please. No Knight's Move tech. We have had kitty, kitty Corner tech sometimes, but I don't know how much I trust that. Very sparsely populated rocks. We do go. We do like clusters, though. Where do we have clusters here? We got one right down there, a little smiley face. That's tempting me. We got one up there and one right there. This, could, this is kind of a cluster right there. One right there as well. We'll start down here. We'll go up. We'll, we'll, we'll do cluster formations. Cluster formations. I think it's our best shot. Don't throw your bone. Oh, cluster chat, I'm telling you. I'm I'm starting to believe that cluster formation, there might be some method to the madness there. Floor 78. Conquered. We got one floor to go. Chat, this could be it. This is this this is this the run? Chat, is this the run? I see no freebie. I see a skeleton poking over the, the edge of the screen. Chat. We need all hands on deck here. I'm taking the screenshot. We, we need a freebie. Can we please get... Can we get freebie spam in chat? Can we get a, either your either your best luck emojis or just freebie? Please, freebie. Free, all caps freebie. All caps freebie. Please. Please. We need all, we need all the hope we can get. Freebie. Freebie. I'm not open I'm not opening the folder until we're flooded with freebies and good luck. This is the most important floor we've had in a long time. Floor 80 is a huge milestone here. Free the bees. Freebie, freebie, freebie. We're going in. Chat, we're going in. Okay. I'm gonna let me let me quickly do this. Do my naming scheme. Alright, I'm not looking. I'm I'm not looking at the screen. Wait, I gotta bring you in, I think. Chat, I'm not looking I'm not looking at the picture. I'm going solely off the reaction of chat. I'm going solely off chat reaction. Freebie? I mean people are just spamming freebie now, so I don't even know if it's I don't know what to believe. <laughs> I asked for the freebie spam. I've I've cursed my own self. I see a sad face. I see crying emojis. No! No! There's no freebie. There's no freebie. Too tall for a freebie. Alright, that's okay. We have one map. We have a map to compare. A single map. Right there. That's there's no knights move. We got nothing. Chat, this is alright, we have we have to resort back to cluster tech. We have to resort back to cluster tech. What's the biggest cluster here? We got a whole look at these lines. If there was one right there, that would be guaranteed staircase right there. 
This is this is a huge cluster right here. Look at that long serpentine diagonal thing. This is also pretty good right there. We're looking at long clusters. I think I think we go for the clusters. We go clusters. Is there false knight? Let me look at false knight tech. One down and three to the right, or three to the left. One, do, 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 do. No, I don't think it's false knight tech. Good eye though. Good, good thinking. Also, we've had good luck with just left of the ladder. Staircase next to you first. I'm with you, Lisa. I'm with you. All right, here we go. Floor 80 coming in. Please. All right, no luck there. We have had luck with that in the past. We're going cluster, cluster strats now. All right, this is a good cluster. We start here. Just follow it to its natural conclusion. That's all right. That's all right. We at least didn't get it. Three is a good cluster. It's good enough for my money. All right. Still no mining experience. No mining experience. We got two clusters right there, but I, yeah, this is the one we were looking for. This is the big long one. The big snaky boy. I should probably eat, huh? Yep, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Chad, this is so nerve-wracking. I was trying to, like, go for my salmon berries, and I was- I almost, like, misclicked and, like, died. <laughs> bee! Free bee! Chat, we summoned the bee boss music instead of the free bee. I mean, some would say that's a better outcome, honestly. Please. End my suffering so that my new suffering on floor 80 may begin. All right. I'll, we got some. We got some little two clusters down here. Little two clusters, two pieces. No, no! <laughs> I shouldn't have fallen for the two-piece traps. How could you do this to me? Oh, that could. It was almost. It was almost the two reset. Almost the two reset. I'm upset. More more than anything, I'm upset with myself for not following proper cluster protocol. Clusters are, are only groups of three or more. Three or more. And we only go down to two or more if there's a... Uh, if that's all that remains. Which it seems to be all that remains now. Salmon berries are really carrying. They're, do they're doing a lot of work. They're doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Cannot argue with that. You're going to pickaxe that bat at this rate? How much HP does a bat have? How many times would I have to hit it with a pickaxe before it uh, succumbs? This is how superstitions begin. It's not superstitions if it's true, though. Like, you've seen cluster tech. It, it worked. I'm not, making, I'm not making things up. I'm not just, you know, throwing things out there at the wall and seeing what sticks based on, you know, arbitrary rules. I, I went after the clusters, and I got multiple staircases in a row. How is that not science? Hypothesis? Hypothesis stated? Staircases are more common in clusters of rocks. I got an ore. I mean, it, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It says staircases are more common in clusters of rocks. It's not that ore cannot spawn in clusters of rocks. That's, that's its own hypothesis that we've proven to be false. I'm all for the scientific method. Look, I know that looked bad because I just got another ore from another cluster. Also, we can get this iron ore because it doesn't matter anymore and there might be a staircase under it. Tr show me your tri-folder presentation then, I will. But it might have to be in PowerPoint form instead of trifolder because that's all I've that's that's the most readily accessible format for a stream. Yo, did you see how scary those bats looked for a second? 
Did anyone get a screenshot of that while I was eating those salmon berries? Those bats turned into demons. That was terrifying. They were like all black and like 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 the black of night. They were like full Vanta black mode. Sample size is too small. It's like a sample size of like five clusters though. That's like pretty. That's a lot of clusters. These can't be staircases because they're on soil. It's really way down at the end here, huh? These are like the last rocks that we haven't hit yet. It's behind this one. Chat, there was no way we were getting there. <laughs> There's no shot. It, chat, put put your guesses in now. Is it the cluster or is it not the cluster? We got one cluster, what not one non-cluster. This right here either proves or disproves cluster technology. Once we get past this big stone. Chat, I mean, I don't want to say I told you so. It's non-cluster, non-cluster, non-cluster. Two is not a cluster. It's a it's a mini cluster. It's a mini cluster. It still counts. Chat, that still counts. That still counts as a cluster right there. Put one win in the column for cluster believers. 79-2 clear for me. Two is not a cluster. You've changed the definition of clusters like three times. A cluster is a group of rocks. It's a group of rocks. Two is a group. I mean, you could also make the argument that one is a group, but then we were just getting into semantics at that point. You said two isn't a cluster. Those are your words. I... I... Look. <laughs> it's cluster adjacent. Chat, two is more of a cluster than not a cluster. Changing the rules to fit him reminds me of my toddler cousin. Excuse me. Maybe your toddler cousin has a good shoulder on his heads. On his on his head. I'm good head on his shoulders. <laughs> oh no. I'm not doing I'm not doing great for my cause here. Not making great arguments. That was a cluster. Chat, that was a cluster. You just couldn't see the other rocks because they were in the wall. <laughs> He's got a good shoulder on his head. What do you talk? What do you mean? It doesn't make, that makes perfect sense. The last two staircase, the last two rocks are always ladders, so this can't go in the stair in the statistics. All right, that's a that's a void test then. All right, chat. We'll call it a draw. We'll call it a draw. That's a void test. This is this is the run. Three resets deep. I'm doing this for the 38% of believers still out there. This is the run where we where we truly put cluster meta to the test, okay? If the clusters fail me, then I will I will fully abandon them and I, I will admit I was wrong. But if the clusters prove fruitful, then you all have to apologize to me. Not all of you, because some of you are also cluster believers, I'm sure, but. I think, I think, I, I'm just saying, I think there's more truth to the cluster idea than you might realize. Not that we need a cluster today, we got a freebie. I don't even need to show you. It's too, it's too early on to get too amped up about freebies, but we do have a freebie here. Alright, 77. Have a look here. No freebies spotted. 75 is not a cluster. It doesn't count if we are if we know that it's a staircase, though. Mapping supersedes clusters. Clusters are our backup plan if mapping fails. That's it's that's not a fair test. That's not a fair test. Have I heard of the Monty Hall problem? I have. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Monty Hall problem. Alright. Two left of the ladder there. Two left of the ladder is. Chat, look, I know what you're going to say. That's not a cluster. But I, I just got finished explaining. Maps supersede clusters. It goes map. It, it goes... Here's here's the uh, here's the flow chart. In case anyone's... Take notes because it will be on the exam. It goes freebie. Then direct map map. Then knight's move. Then false knight's move. Then kitty corner. Then... Cluster, then pair, then single. 
that's 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 the echelon of staircase likelihood so make sure make sure you got that jotted down so first we'll, we'll go through the flow chart here we'll go through the flow chart if we have to anyway I'm gonna steal shoulder on one's head to confuse people all right so here we go we start at the top of the flow chart freebie no freebie okay so we we check map we check the direct map no direct map on that one we check knight's move one one uh, do 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 we do go, we go three up do 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 three down and then we do uh we do false knight's move as well all right no false knight's move all right so now we check the second map check the second map rinse and repeat this is the way it goes. I can tell you already, there's no knight's moves. There might be a false knight's move. Do, do, do. No, that's like four away. That doesn't count. Is there is there kitty corner? I mean, kitty corner is a bit of a is a bit of a tougher one. Bit of a tougher one to verify. I I mean, I don't know how reliable kitty corner is. I should say it's kind of just like me making stuff up. That that one I'll concede. That one's just me being a little bit superstitious. Then we go to the next map, but there is no other map for this floor, so now we go clusters. Now we go clusters, then pairs, then singles. You no longer believe anything after map is, is accurate? <laughs> what is a kitty corner I didn't study? It's when it's diagonal. When it's a direct diagonal from the uh, from a previous staircase, that's kitty corner. Alright, we got a cluster of three here. We start there. I do, I do think it might be false intel that longer clusters necessarily mean that they're more likely. I do think that uh, it just has to be a cluster. We're very cluster poor on this on this floor, though. I will say that. All right. I think we've cleared out all the clusters, so now we go down to mini clusters, aka pairs. This pair doesn't count because it's it's partially on the soil there, which is not a good indicator for success. All right, no 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 other pairs there. there. A lot of single stones. They're trying to put me. They're trying to make me look bad. All right, we do have that last pair over on the over on the soil here. All right, that one can't be it for sure. All right, now we go back to singles. We made it to the bottom of the flow chart. So it's guaranteed that the staircase is in a single stone. And unfortunately, it did not pan out this time. Rip to the believers. Every time I say kitty corner, I have half a second where I think you're saying my name. Kitty burger of, you know what? <laughs> Had him in the first half, not gonna lie. All right, this is 78-3. I think we can... You know what? Scratch. We're going to scratch Kitty Corner from the flowchart, though. I don't have enough confidence in Kitty Corner technology to, to put it on the flowchart. I, I think we scrapped that idea. Also, there's a freebie on this floor, so we just reset. All right, we're four resets in. Four resets in is uh, it's not a great look, but we can we can still beat the seven plus mentality. If we get to seven plus resets, there's I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with myself. I'll be very upset. I think gem nodes don't give XP. Wouldn't they be great for money? Uh, gem nodes, they used to not give XP, like the just generic purple gem nodes, they used to not give it, but now they do. As of 1.5, I'm pretty sure. Why do I reset freebies? Uh, I mean, I reset that freebie because we had already gotten experience, so there was no need to go any further, it was the last floor. Otherwise, I mean, if I didn't have experience, that would have been, that would have been a great moment, for sure. Alright, floor 75. So we know we I have the direct map for this one memorized. 
We just go back and forth until we until we see what we need to see. The one time I vote for a more optimistic option. Arabella, I'm so sorry. I tried my best. I gave it my all. I even invoked new cutting edge state of the art cluster strats. It's experimental technology, but I have I have pretty good faith in it. I have good confidence in it. Unfortunately, it did not bear fruit this time. All right. Lucky hardwood, though. There might be a lucky hardwood here. We've never failed a run where we got hardwood. 76. All right, what do we got here? Let's have a quick look. We got staircase there. I don't see any... Knights, false or otherwise. Over there. Do, 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 do. Shoot, so close. We got one last spot there. Are you kidding me? That is knight's move. That's not the kind of knight's move we're looking for, though. I hope that's not the only staircase is, is, gonna, is what I'm going to say here. You know what? I just, I mean, that that alone does not bode well for this floor. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave and we're going to get back to floor 76. I just, I just don't feel good about that one. Call it a hunch. Call it superstitious. Call it whatever you want. I just did not feel good about that one. That's not the right spot. Okay. Welcome in, Zeta. Something tells me that Argon would be terrible at Minesweeper. What do you mean? Minesweeper? I'm great at Minesweeper. I'll go play it right now. Well, not right now. I'm too I'm too hyped about floor uh about floor 80 potential here to go play Minesweeper. Alright. New try, new attempt. What do we got here? No knights moves. That's fine. We don't roll, we don't runs don't live and die by the knights move. Always. Do 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 do. Right there. That's very devoid of anything. Okay, but at, at least there's no ores or anything, so we can we can. Go, we can resort to cluster tech. That's a big cluster right there. I'd love to take partake in that one, but uh, can't really do that for obvious reasons. What I'm doing is basically Minesweeper anyway. I wish I had as much information as Minesweeper. Chat, is it possible to win every, any game of Minesweeper without guessing? Like, if, if you started a, a game of Minesweeper right now, like, and it has to be, like, expert mode Minesweeper, where it's, like, the biggest grid possible, is it, are you guaranteed to win, uh, to be able to win without guessing? If you take the right line. No. Welcome in, random dude. Yeah, something told me that, like, there's, it, it's, it just does not seem likely that you would be able to, uh, to always win without guessing. I feel like there's always at least like one guess. Especially toward the end of a long game of Minesweeper, it feels like there's always like one guess you have to make. And some and we apparently guess wrong. <laughs> Guessed wrong on this one at the very least. Well at least you know now we can investigate this cluster and see how see how busted cluster meta has the potential to be. Get ready for it. There's a staircase under these iron ores. I told- I told- Chat! <laughs> it was the biggest cluster, too! It was the biggest cluster. Oh my gosh. Alright, 76-4. If you know how to actually play, but the first move is always a guess. I mean, the first move is always a guess, in that, like, you don't know what information you're gonna get out of it. But it's not a guess in the fact that you can't ever lose on the first move, right? In Minesweeper, that's just the way it works. Like the first one you the first one you click, 
is guaranteed to not be a mine, right? I believe that's true. There's a challenge mode where every move you make in Minesweeper has to be completely logical, or, or else the game board will change itself to make your guess wrong. I'm kind of here for that. That sounds like fun. That sounds like that sounds like cursed Minesweeper. All right, no freebies on this floor, so we can start mining our little heart out. All right, cluster me. You've lost to that before? Not in my Minesweeper. I, I was, I'm was i pretty sure that you can't get a mine on your first uh, guess. You absolutely can. No shot. I, chat. If I were to boot up Minesweeper right now, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not getting a mine on the... If I, if I were to, like, start a thousand different games of Minesweeper and click every time I click the first one... Zero out of a thousand are, are the mine. It's programmed to not let it happen. Do it? I'm not going to go start a thousand games of Minesweeper to prove a point, but I, I feel like the point is proven. It's in the code. Mine, Minesweeper is programmed to not let you lose turn one. Exactly. You're, you're with me, Casey. Newer versions re-roll the board if you click the mine first click. How new are we talking? Because I've, I've played, like, you know... I thought the OG Minesweeper was, like, the... It's like the it's like the Windows one, right? With the... All right, once once we start getting swarmed by this many monsters and stuff, I feel like cluster, cluster strats go out the door. You just gotta start mining whatever rocks are close to you. And hope for the best. You have a link to a video if you want proof. It has to be on the version of Minesweeper that I'm familiar with, though. It, ha it can't be on just, like, any old version of Minesweeper. It has to be on the version, like, it has to be in, like, Windows 95 or whatever. I mean, there, there are definitely many different versions of Minesweeper. I, I don't dispute that. But the specific OG true version of Minesweeper that, I, that I'm familiar with is, uh, it will not let you lose turn one. You can quote me on that. How many skeletons is too many? How many do we have there? Can you count the skeletons, chat? Counting with Argon? One, two, three, four, five. Is that six skeletons? I believe that's six skeletons. That okay, this is a cursed staircase because we got we got ore from it. We mark that with the magnet ring. And we take a picture. That's a cursed staircase. I haven't had one of those in a, in a while, actually, so we were due. What did I just do? I just clicked it. I just... Oh, I... Okay, I see what I did. Okay, we're good. Uh, give me my ring back, please. What goat said? What did goat say? I'm looking for goat's message. I'm pretty sure the OG Minesweeper moves the mine one square. Wait, so if you click it and it's a mine, then it'll move it, like, one square to the left or right? I, I, I do remember in the original version of Minesweeper that there was a, uh, like, you could set up, like, a custom board state, right? Like, you could set, like, a custom size, custom amount of mines. And I remember as a kid always loving to go into the custom one and, like, set, like, the numbers to, like, max out or whatever. So that, and so when I clicked, I would, I would click and I would get a, uh... Uh, since it's guaranteed to not be a mine, you would always see, like, the number 8, and you'd be able to, like, flag all those squares around it. Oh, I love doing that as a kid. And then you, the second click, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose. But in the rare circumstances where you didn't lose, you felt like a, like a superhero. It would be funny if staircases were dynamic and the ring could fall down them onto the next mines level. Yo, concerned Dave, are you listening? Start Stardew 1.6 ideas incoming. If you're right, you can set 143 out of 144 mines and, and win every time. 
I don't think it lets you do that. I think there's like a maximum amount of mines for like a specific board size so that like you can't do that basically. I'm pretty sure. Another classic, another classic in, from the computer room in elementary school. Um, set the board size to maximum. Set the mi number of mines to minimum. You click one time and you win every time because you click and then it just like reveals the entire board is blank. <laughs> And the uh, and all the mines are immediately flagged, and you get the cool sunglasses emoji at the top, because the guy's like, "Congrats, you won, pal. You did it, sport." Can we get some sunglasses emojis for mine for Minesweeper nostalgia? Like ten mines in a fifty by fifty board, exactly. Yeah, you know, you know how it goes. Look at them. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sunglasses emoji, man. <laughs> that takes me back. It's not. It's not the exact same one. The version from Minesweeper is more pixelated, but uh, but the spirit is still there. Oh, I love it. All right, seventy-eight dash three four. Seventy-eight dash four. Actually, that's pretty good. All right, quick freebie check. No freebies, even though this uh, very impactful song is playing. No freebies. What was the question? No question. We're just we're just enjoying the uh, sunglasses emoji, man. Chad, if you had to give a name, like a like a real human name, to the like basic emoji, like just like a smiling face emoji, you know, like the default like yellow smiling face. What's his name, or what's what's their name, her name, whatever whatever gender you may ascribe to them? I guess I always just say his because it's like a reflection of me. But if it's if you're not a him, then it's a reflection of you. Dude, Bob, Kevin. I think Bob is a pretty good one. Bob is like one of those names that you get in a uh, in like a math question, like Bob and Alice. All right, it's new staircase acquired. Let's run it back. Seventy nine dash three. Perfect. Greg, Argon, Craig, Tim, Muhammad. Fred, Craig, Lily, Forrest Gump, what the heck? Is Forrest Gump a good movie, chat? I've never seen it. All I know is that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. a great movie most people most people i think say it's a great movie but I've, i don't think i've ever uh I, I have met a couple people who are like i hated that movie maybe it's just like a very polarizing movie it's pretty iconic it's definitely iconic yeah no matter how you slice it it's a uh it's a cornerstone of a movie what's today's luck we got gold pyramid luck on our side In the movie, he accidentally creates the smiley face. Okay, I have to watch it now. I mean, I have to. I need to, I need to know the context for this. All right. Are we on five resets? I think this is five resets, right? Five resets. Ooh, that's interesting. Wait, is there a freebie? No, there's no, there's no way is a freebie. That should have been a staircase. That's been a staircase like every single other time. Very interesting. There's a bit more going on here than meets the eye, it would seem. Hearing you in stereo, it's kind of nice. Editing our thing and popped in to say hi. Hello, Wickety. Hello. 
dropping spoilers in chat too. Just just comes in, drops a our thing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing it. Hope you're having a good day. Ah, oh, the diamond, the diamond node. First. He accidentally does a lot of stuff. That's the whole idea. Yeah, I don't really know like the, what the plot of Forrest Gump is. Woke up to Bell. Ding. Where are my staircases at? Chat, did I break it? These are, these are supposed to be guaranteed staircase spots. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just, took, just took a little bit of greasing up. Welcome on in, Ray. No real information in the thing, just knowledge of existence. I guess that's true. It's not a spoiler. It's more just like a, hey, here's a thing. I'm very excited for it either way. All right. Look at his new perfection run. Looks very intriguing. Yo, definitely. If you haven't seen it yet, the... Wait, have you, Wickedy, have you posted any any of the, the role for initiative stuff? I know that you posted the trailer, and that got me amped up seeing that on its own, but have you posted more than that, that yet? I'm not, uh, I don't think I'd seen anything, but maybe you posted it during the stream. Anyway, bring me over to the staircase. Either way, go check the, go check the Wickedy's trailer for her new project. It, it's, it's extremely hype. can't make a blooper reel because the entire thing is bloopers. <laughs> That's so accurate, honestly. Alright, uh, what do we got here? We got no staircase, no knight's move. Staircase. No staircase, no knight's move. We're batting a thousand here. Do, do, do. Is that... No, no staircase, no knight's move. Wait, false knight's move? No, no false knight's move, I don't think. Double check that though. Nah, that one's too far away. But over there, over yonder. Alright. It's the way it goes sometimes. That's just the way she rolls. Posted the members to your rules to your members, but you'll share with everyone else soon. Can't wait. Chad, if you're if you're enjoying the randomizer, if you're enjoying the randomizer so far, you're gonna I, I have like a little sneak peek at sort of what's going on. It's well oh, you're gonna you're gonna love it when I'm not gonna spoil any more than that. Just that it does exist. Why? <laughs> oh no. I sh I knew I had a feeling that I should have just reset this floor. This one was giving off that bad vibes. Okay, this is also, yeah, I mean, that's extremely bad vibes. That's another cursed staircase right there. Add the cursed staircase to the collection. 76-5. That's so many stairs, so many maps for, for a single floor here. Just saying, that bit of XP was in a big cluster. Look. <laughs> Maybe I was a bit premature in my, uh... In, in the cluster technology. Maybe there's still a bit of refining that needs to be done. Before cluster meta can be invoked properly. It's, it's not an exact science. Maybe I was claim. Maybe I was just... I, I was just so excited to have a new tool in the tool belt chat. I'm not going to lie to you. I think I let it blind me. Maybe cluster tech is not the way to go. Do you think maybe single rock tech, sol solitary tech, is is better? Or does it just not matter at all? <laughs> I'm not sure what the game is trying to tell me here. It's giving me mixed messages. Where's my sword? I left it at home. Didn't think I would need it today because I didn't anticipate having to reset. That's the real reason we're not bringing the sword 
Because people say you can bring the sword so that you can, like, fight back the monsters once you have to, like, reset anyway. But then that it, that admits that I'm afraid that I'm going to have to reset. And I can't have that. Show no fear. You got to you got to show the game that you're that you're not going to meet it on its terms. Happy to oblige, Anna. Glad you're enjoying the stream. And Arabella, all all my European friends. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the earlier stream time here. Oh, there's just a freebie over here. Okay, so we can't glean any extra information out of that. Unless, I don't know, like, there was a question about whether freebies appear on the same patterns as regular regular staircases. We got a freebie on this floor. Why don't we give it a try? Why don't we give it a try? I'll save this as 79-4F for freebie. And then uh, we can compare once we get back here, if we need to. Alright, on this, onto the 6th reset, though. This is not looking great. 37% of chat believes 4 to 6 resets. What's the current threshold on, on 7 plus believers? 11% of chat believes in 7 plus. Ooh, might be a good day to be in the 11%. That said, I'm feeling optimistic. I'm feeling good. This is the one. We're going to make it happen. If I don't get a pick, if I don't bring a pickaxe, I should get all the freebies. My God, you're right. <laughs> Melon Jay, you've opened my eyes. I should just not bring the pickaxe anymore. You're so right. Just go only for freebies. How much longer would this take if we went only for freebies? I mean, I know there are some floors that you actually can't physically get freebies on, so that would be probably impossible, huh? Is there a number of resets that I would give up on a particular day? No, because every reset garners new information. And if I if I give up on a particular day, then I feel like I miss out on using that information. Even though I think it does carry over to the next day because staircase spawns are seated. Um it would still feel like a like a failure on that particular day. It would feel like a total waste of the day, to be honest with you. Can't be having that. All right, 76. All right. Yo, I was almost, I was getting ready to say no freebies, no freebies spotted. What the heck is this over here? That's a, that's a funny looking rock if it's not a freebie. All right, let's go. Thank you, blessed floor 76. Welcome on in, Bree. You're here just in time for us to get to floor 80. Mark my words right there. Written in digital ink. Alright. Chat, I don't know if I want to say this is the run, but, I mean, the freebies don't lie. The freebies don't lie. Take me down to that freebie where the mines are blue and the ladders are pretty. Give me the coal. Victory lap. All right, we've made it to floor 79 solely off the back of freebies. This this does not look great to me. That's, that's blocking a lot of potential access here. Let's, let's see. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. I need you to look for me again. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. We're back to floor 79. No experience. Please. I'm not looking. Chat. Chat, give me good news. Give me the good news, please. Pretty pretty la little ladders bring me down, down, down. Chat, give me the good news. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, chat. Wait, really? I see Jalopy says yes. A? What? Really? No shot. No shot. Hold. Okay. What? Chat. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Okay, we can't get too excited. Wait, can we? Can I get past that? I don't know. If, I don't know if I can get around this corner. That's a tight corner. It's a blocked freebie. It's Schrodinger's freebie. We don't know if it's good yet. I'm scared. Gotta break those rocks to get there. 
I'm so, so I'm so nervous. Floor 80 is right. We're right there. It's literally I can smell it coming from the uh, coming from the freebie. I can smell the brimstone. All right, we can get around here. We gotta break this rock. We have to break this one right here. Please, please, I love you. Please. Do I have to break another one? I have to break- you're gonna make me break another one. You're gonna make me cry. Oh, we're free! We made it! Floor 80 achieved! No mining, no combat experience! Give me my obsidian blade! That's Firewalker boots, I was wrong- whatever, I'll take- I'll take whatever I can get, dude! Ah! Floor 80 has arrived! Oh my gosh. Finally, floor 80. We have we have a long way to go, but this is a huge victory. This is a huge win getting this far. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! No, just kidding. There's no freebie. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? Could you imagine? <laughs> Alright, there's actually no freebie. I, that, that <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. That would have been fantastic. I was here at 80. The four, We almost made it to 7 plus resets. Didn't quite make it there. <laughs> What am I doing? I was I was following the freebie train to its natural conclusion. What was that like seven freebies in a row? <laughs> that was insane. Firewalker boots don't match the drip. You know they they don't match the drip. You're not wrong, but they're not as bad as I thought they would be. I think we'll take it for the extra defense because we're gonna be getting hit a lot on our floor eighty journey onward. It's hard to believe, you know, I mean, now that we're here, chat, never forget Floor 17. Wickedy, you're, you're, you're a real one. Never forget Floor 17. Now that we're here, though, now things get interesting because originally when we first got the dwarf goal as our first goal, we first rolled that, this was our stopping point, right? We didn't have to get really beyond Floor 80. Maybe to, like, Floor 85 to have a good floor to reset for stuff. Because we could kill a metalhead. We could kill a metalhead and get Dwarf Scroll 3. But we all know that that's not the way this is gonna go down. We do we have access. We officially do have access though to three out of the four dwarf scrolls. One, two, and four are are ripe for the taking whenever we want them, basically. Although I don't know if there's any tillable spots on floor 81, so we might have to go a little deeper still. The word freebie has lost all meaning at this point. And cookies as a celebratory gesture. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Rocks are going to take so many hits now. How many hits do rocks take with a basic pickaxe at floor 80 and beyond? Does anyone know the, the actual answer off the top of your head? I want to say eight hits. <laughs> but I don't... Uh, no, it's... I mean... Maybe you're like five hits, five or six. Floor 95 consistently gives scrolls one and four if you till. Good to know. Thank you. We just got to make it to floor 95. Like five. Yeah, I wanted to say five or six. What did I just... I sold the cookies. I, I wanted to make sure I didn't sell anything, like, stupid. Like, oh, let me just sell this coal real quick. Can't be doing that. It's five. Five. We're gonna find out. We're gonna go find out very shortly. I just need to know. I'm, I'm giddy with, with anticipation here. Oh, let me go get my, uh, my mushrooms as well. Can't forget to do the daily chores just on the on the back of a big accomplishment like that. We still gotta follow through with our chores here.
Welcome on in, Ari. I'm doing quite well. I hope you're doing well yourself. All right, let's see. Are they going to give me double double good luck days back to back? If we can get a star drop luck day, here's the thing. I think at this point, it might be... We might save a lot of time by waiting for only star drop luck days instead of gold pyramid days. I don't know. I don't know how much better they are or how much it changes things, but I feel like star drop luck days might be worth waiting out at this point. Hey, Museum Grack, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. So late, so glad I cap... So late, so glad... So, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm having a tough time reading today, apparently. So sad, but glad to catch anything. Also, look, I didn't miss the conclusion of the epic randomized goal. Loving it, loving it. I'm glad to have you here, Museum Grack. Thank you so much for the generosity. I greatly appreciate it. Zero resets, 85, let's go. Thank you, Chase, and have, have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Quick luck check. Gold Pyramid? I gotta give it a try. I gotta give it a try. At the very least, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel about it. Also, learn how to cook a Maki roll. That's its own victory. We gotta, we gotta go give this a shot. We can't just get to floor 80 and say, like, I'll see you on the next Star Drop luck day. When they give us gold pyramid luck back to back, we got we have to at least try, right? We have to at least make a make an old college effort. The wiki does not have a quick here's how many rock hits it would take to break 80 plus rocks with the basic pickaxe. Because it doesn't think anyone would need to know that. Why not? Do they not do they not appreciate challenge runners? Alright. Well, we're about we're about to experiment for ourselves and find out here. Let's see. I almost I went to make a new poll and then I I almost just typed the poll itself into the chat instead of making a poll, just like a message. Yo, oh my gosh, Gray! Thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the generosity. That's so big. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. If anyone got gifted a membership today by, by Gray, please use your first emojis to, to thank Gray. Get some Argon hype and Argon love. You'll love to see it. Thank you so much for the generosity. Alright, how many resets for floor 85? I didn't think I'd be typing those words today. Zero. One to three. Four to six, and seven plus. We almost hit seven plus on the last run, but we'll see now. Or eighty to eighty-five. Anything from the from an increment of ten onwards, like the first the first five of a decade, is always uh, easier than the last five. It's been consistently true. Museum Grack reads. Thank you so much for the five gifted memberships as well. Oh my gosh, you guys are so generous today. Thank you so much. If you have been gifted a membership by Museum Grack Reads, please use your fa your emojis to thank them as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the generosity. You guys, you guys are... I'm going to make me cry. <laughs> Alright. Floor 80. Hey, at least you know what? We don't have to deal with dust sprites now. No more dust sprites to deal with. Just, uh, Shadow Brutes. <laughs> How much damage could they really do, though? Alright. Bet's in. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying six hits per rock. Let's have a look here. One, two, three, four. Four hits? That's not bad. Four hits for, for a basic rock? I'll take that. That said, I am going to reset this floor for a freebie because I know that I can. Yeah, I definitely thought it was going to be more than four. That's for sure. If it was five or six, that would have been more demotivating. Strangely, four does not feel that demotivating. You know, new hardwood grinding floor just dropped. I don't think I don't think floor eighty is actually a good floor for hardwood grinding because I think the rates of hardwood are reduced in the barrels. 
in favor of like more powerful items. Something new for the wiki. Some someone add that. Add that. Write that down. Four hits for a rock isn't bad. Words only Argon would speak. Where did I get this coal? It must have been from one of the crates and barrels. Because I don't have any mining experience yet, right? Correct. I need to remind myself we're not actually farming hardwood right now. We're looking for a freebie. Just taking, just taking a quick, you know, little siesta from the grind for now. The metal heads are swarming. I'll tell you that for sure. For sure. 81's your favorite floor, but more for gems than crates. Crates can still be good there. Yeah, crates, I mean, they're they're consistent, and it's a small enough floor that... I mean, it's like the floor... It's the same as the floor 41 layout, right? So... It's no surprise that it's a good layout. Just a matter of the actual loot. But yeah, for gems, it's like second to none, I think. What would it take for me to consider killing a metalhead for the scroll? If I kill one metalhead and get dwarf scroll three without having to reset a single time, I'll accept that. If I kill a single metalhead and the first one that I ever kill, no resets, drops it, then we can we can just take that. I would accept that as a sign from from on high that that is uh, the way that is meant to be. That said, I'll t also accept this as a sign. Why is this floor so dark? This is scaring me. All right, floor 82. I'm so used to the nice light blues of the previous floors. Now I'm just in dark purple land. That means no, I won't kill a metalhead. I'll kill one metalhead and then like reset if it doesn't drop it. But that'll be the only metalhead I kill. All right, um, this is 82. Wait, I don't have to name this one yet, because I don't know if this is actually going to be beneficial. No freebies spotted. No freebies. Okay. Are we doing a metalhead count until you're guaranteed Squire's Helm? What's the max that it can take for a Squire's Helm? It's like 99, right? Because like the the weird way that it drops. That could be fun. I always find it so weird that that's how, like, the Squire's Helm drops, that it's, like, a guaranteed drop after a certain number of kills, because, like, nothing else in the game works that way. Ooh, Pickle Jar Rag! This staircase is brought to you by a Pickle Jar Rag. Spam PJRs in chat, please. PJR. 82-1. The Fire Quartz might be a nice moneymaker, to be honest with you. I don't... How, how much are Fire Quartz worth? I do not know off the top of my head. Yeah, 99 is the max. Based on your seed number? That's wild. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll have to get that Squire's Helmet eventually. We gotta get as many staircases as we can while Pickle Jar Rag has... Uh, has deigned to bless us. It was only one staircase, it turns out, but you know what? It's better than none. Uh, I will take the fire quartz over the copper ore. Thank you very much. A hundred or hundred and fifty for fire quartz. Exclamation point wiki. Fire quartz? No! There goes the zero reset. That's okay. All right, I'm st I'm still happy to even be here in the presence of these 80th floors that I don't even mind having to like do it even just a single reset. Are these these rocks are like actually easier to mine than the other ones? They give XP, so not great, but now that I know I'm going to have to reset anyway. All right, I'm scared. I'm scared of these bats cuz these guys are going to hurt, right? Ah, 10 10 damage. Oh no. But what about my new Firewalker boots? 11 damage? Stop! 
Chad, I'm scared. How much do my salmon berries even, even heal? Eleven health. <laughs> this is not gonna. This is not gonna go well. Sells for a hundred and hundred and thirty with the gemologist profession. Okay, good information. Get get this. Oh my gosh, this is this is not. This is this is gonna be really bad. I think we need better food than salmon berries. I think we might need to invest in some better food than salmon berries. Goodbye, dust sprite swarms. Hello, murderous bats. We might need to go uh, with salads from here on in. It might it might be a wise idea to invest in salad infrastructure. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to do exactly that. I think we're I think we should reset the day. We should buy some salads, so we're going to have to wait for the saloon to open to do that. And just buy some salads to be to be ready to go. Salads. <laughs> it's, it's like the cheapest food. It's like it's decent health, right? All right. Look, I'm a man of my word. Bring I'm taking my iron edge. Maybe I should keep the Iron Edge. It might be a good idea to have it for now for the 80th floors. Just for, like, if I do need to reset. I know I said it's admitting defeat before, but at this point, with the monsters, how tough they are, I think it's kind of a, a fool's errand not to bring it. But, before we, inve before we worry about any of that, I'm a man of my word. We're gonna kill, we're gonna go kill a Metalhead. We're gonna kill a single Metalhead. And if it drops Dwarf Scroll 3, then the, then the game's trying to tell me something. If it doesn't, then the game's tell, also telling me something, and it's telling me that I'm on the right path. 0.5% chance, by the way, for a, drop, for a Dwarf Scroll 3 drop from a Metalhead. Let's go find one. We just gotta reset floor 81 here until we, until we see one, basically. We got a 1 in 200 shot. I'll take this as well, just real quick. I mean, we might as well at least, you know, take their freebies if they show up, but this is not, uh, that's not what this one's, this excursion is about. There are some metal heads over there, but they're a little bit, like, squared away. They're a little bit blocked off, so I'm not going to worry about going to get them. This is good battle music, actually. This, this is this is good music for, for these floors. All right. I see the metal head. We're luring him. All right, we don't we don't want that guy to, to mess with things here. All right, we just I gotta kill the metal head, but I I don't want to kill the void spirit. Don't heal him. All right. No dwarf scroll three means we reset and we continue on our current warpath. The swords are out. <laughs> we'll try a little bit of a sword run. Why don't we? Why don't we try a sword run? Like bring the sword and then we can start killing monsters if we need to. It was a long shot. I'm telling, if the game had been willing to give it to me right there, I would have accepted it. I would have accepted defeat in the face of extreme adversity. But the game's the game has shown me that it's not going to it's not going to give me the easy way out. And you know what I say to that? I say when have we ever taken the easy way out? Kill one metalhead per reset or one per day. Does the metalhead count as a reset? No, the metalhead was its own experiment. We're still just one reset, I would say, because we we weren't looking for for floors that time. Kill one metalhead per reset or one per day. That yeah, no, that was that's the only metalhead we're killing. Ooh, a little freebie. Don't mind if I do. All right. Dude, floor 82 is is no joke. It is like the darkest floor I think I've ever seen in my life. At least as far as like color palette goes. 
All right, this is 82 dash nothing. This is just 82. We only have one map of this, so I'm just gonna check it real quick. Uh, we don't. We do not have a knight's move either. We don't have a freebie. We don't have a knight's move. We don't. We got nothing. No information. Flying blind. In every sense of the word, just about. The dark floors don't count. Honestly, the dark floors still do count. I think this is darker than the dark floors. In some ways. Not in every way. It's different when you, like, can't see anything versus when you can, like, see very little. Like, in the dark floors, you really can't see much of anything. In this one, it's like, you can see it, but it's like, it hurts your eyes to look at it. It's a different level of darkness. Not in the actual light level way. Exactly. You, you know what I'm talking about. We understand each other. Ooh! Not a freebie, but still a good ladder. Alright, this is 82-2. What's this big rock doing in my way? No freebies, but it is a pretty sparse floor. There's not that many rocks here either. So it's, uh, it's high likelihood that each rock will contain the staircase. I don't know why I'm mining this, honestly. I could have just mined the smaller one anyway to, to get past. I don't know how good of a fit all of the Wild Frost songs are for the stream uh, stream soundtrack, but this one, I think this one's got good vibes. Your kids say hi, hello to your kids as well, Gray. <laughs> hello, hello. I know they can't hear me, but if you could convey the message, I wish them well, and I wish yourself well as well. All right, eighty-three. Wait, are we one floor away from 85 now, basically? So we're at 84. So 83-1. Quickly go grab these for hardwood luck, potentially. No hardwood luck, but a, a little bit of gold ore never hurt anybody, I guess. Alright. This might just be it here. No freebie. And a single tear rolls down my cheek. One said that she one kid said that she's from the future from 2060. What? No way. We got actual time travelers? Oh my gosh. That's wild. I'm impressed. And also upset that they didn't warn me about the gold ore. <laughs> no, that's not on them. That's on me. Gold ore only hurts when in a slingshot. There's there's some Stardew trivia for you. How much does gold ore do when it's used as slingshot ammo? How much damage? I don't think I could even tell you the answer to that one, to be honest. Wait, yeah, are we finished with the challenge in 2060? Can we confirm? Three point one four one five damage. I feel like it would be more than that. Chat, how crazy are irrational numbers? Like pi? How crazy is it that like we know that they exist and that they exist at all? Like that there are numbers that just like never end. Like they don't they, like you just can keep getting more and more precise, but they don't have an ending. Isn't that like just? the wildest thing and it's not like p numbers that like don't exist in the real world either it's like pi is like used in all sorts of places it's actually nuts all right we can get this bad out of here this is why we brought the sword i'm just not used to it
it's hard to wrap my head around it. Like, it seems like such an inconsequential thing most of the time. It's like, yeah, pi is a is a number, the square root of two. Many different square roots, in fact, are irrational numbers, and it's like we just accept that as part of our reality. But, like, the fact that they're, like, that we know about them and can understand them just to that degree to know that they never will end is actually, like, it boggles the mind. Love trivia. Up to 60-ish damage. Actually, I, I want to I fact check you on this one. Let me see. We're going to go Master Slingshot. Master Slingshot on the wiki. Gold Ore does sling, Slingshot damage is 15 to 61. And Master Slingshot is 30 to 122. So honestly, you're not that far off. I think 30 to 122 is like... 60 is like right in the middle there, and 60 is like the literal endpoint of uh, of just the basic slingshot. There you go. I I would I probably would not have guessed 60 to be honest with you. I don't know what I would have guessed. I should have made a guess, I guess, but. The traveler said yes. The challenge the challenge will end before 2060. Okay. It's a bit disappointing because, I mean, I would have liked to <laughs> just do this for the rest of my life. It's too much fun. Didn't know it varied so much. That is a crazy amount of variation. Didn't want to say anything, but it's truly very tastic. All right, we are two resets deep, but we actually have a path now. We have a line. Let's follow that line to its logical conclusion, shall we? Quickly pet the copper bar for good luck. Breaking news. Crazy man pets bet a bar of metal for good luck, but does not pet his actual physical cat for good luck. Get an 07 in chat for Pi going unpetted today on this reset. If we lose on this run, it's because we didn't pet Pi, and we pet the copper bar instead. I thought about it on my way out, and I had a chance to go back and, and pet Pi, but I chose not to. Maybe Pi will be okay with it. We'll, we'll, we'll find out after this run here. Ooh, speaking of, that's a that's a good start to the to the run as it is. This metal head. I wanted to try and get over here, but I actually think I'm like totally boxed in. I could get rid of this big rock, but save the energy. Alright, 82. Two resets deep. Ooh, I do see a freebie. And I think we've got a path to it. We've got a clean line. I'm hoping anyway. One second, I'm gonna get my my windows set up here. There we go. It's, I'm, I got a very particular way of doing things. Got a place for everything, and everything is in its place. Okay. Just gotta avoid the monsters as best as possible, please. Uh, <laughs> good jukes, good jukes. Okay, perfect. Eighty three is here. That's a lot of pets on pie. Pet has been over a hundred times. I didn't even notice that we hit a hundred. Yo, good job, chat. You're showing you're showing pile of love that that Beatrix has <laughs> forgot to do on these resets. All right, um, picture me. Picture perfect. No freebies this time, but maybe, just maybe, I feel like these maps are not doing as well as they used to. They were doing so well in the earlier levels. Maybe it's just because we get, like, like, there's so much more time in between maps now since the floors take that much longer. So it feels just by, like, some kind of bias that it's, uh, it's taking an excessive amount of time. 
to find a good map. You had Timbits the other day. Did you enjoy them? Was it your first experience with Timbits? If so, how would you rate them on a scale of 0 to 12? We need 200 Timbib pets. What's Timbib up to right now? He's up to... Did we, did we get Timbib pets? We got 185 right now. 186, actually. My bad. Alright, I want to avoid getting jinxed as much as possible, because that'll make this, the, the damage that much worse. If I... Oh, I forgot to bring my sword. <laughs> Oops. I forgot that I wouldn't have my sword on the reset. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need a sword today. We're committed to this. Oh, boy. We're committed to this one. One way or another. It was not your first experience. They're consistent 12 out of 12. I don't know if I'd rate Timbits a 12 out of 12. I think at least a 10 out of 12, though. Oh my gosh. The bats. They're swarming. They're swarming. Save me. Staircase now, please. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Gotta stay away from the Shadow Brood. I feel like they do even more damage. Ah! I need salads. I need... I, I, this, this is just affirming. We're going to continue trying to get floor 85 this way, but this affirms to me that I definitely need salads or some kind of better healing source than this. They carry too much of your childhood, not be rated 12 out of 12. I did have... I had a lot of Timbits as a child as well, actually. There is some nostalgia baked into them. A, um, just a morsel of a staircase, please. Please. Okay. <laughs> Take another quick salmon berry session. It's all it's fine, chat. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Don't pay no mind to how many bats are currently behind me. At least eight bats. Quick stop motion bat animation. Count the bats. It's like a Mario it's like that Mario Party minigame. How many bats are here, chat? One, two, three, four. I want to say that's like nine bats. Maybe ten. We may never know though. Don't heal the bats! Are you in, are you crazy? Okay, we got we got we got a lead on them. We got a lead. We just gotta we just gotta do that multiple times now. Alright, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Separate them. We do swerve swerve and avoid. We don't actually we don't want to separate them. We want to keep them clustered like that. Okay. Ooh, that's not good. Alright, I definitely have to avoid bats now. Uh, <laughs> see ya, chumps. Oh, baby. No, not again. <laughs> ah. All right, 12 damage is not bad. 12 damage is not bad. They're making a single bat unit. I'm scared. Somebody send help. <laughs> One rock at a time. We'll make it. All right, let, let the bats swarm. Let them swarm in. Get them all part of the single coagulation. A bat cloud, if you will. Okay, we're good. That one swooped in at the worst possible time. How have we not gotten a staircase or experience yet? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is how Batman began? I need to rewatch the Batman movies. Have a good one, Ray. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, geez. All right, we got, we got to ride out the jinx now. Fine, it's fine. 21. Don't. Oh, they're sweeping. They're swooping. As bats are wont to do. Or right, we got an opportunity. We got an opportunity. I don't know why they did that, but please. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Just stop already. Oh, I got jinxed. Just give me... Ca can a man catch a bat? Break. This 15 bats? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's a lot of bats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many bats can exist on one screen in Stardew Valley? 
Is, is the sound of their flapping wings driving anybody mad yet? Oh my gosh. The slime too. Dude, if we get hit by that slime, it's like over. I need to I need to go for some lucky hardwood here. Stay away from me. That was not a smart move. Separating the bats. Oh no, this is not good. This is not going to end well. Just in time for the Prairie King music to drop. Get me out of here. There's like two rocks up there, and then all the other rocks have experience attached. <laughs> we can at least count the bats a little bit more productively now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's at least thirteen bats here. Not as bad as Blade getting level ten combat in one day. True. I was there for that stream. That was a that was a wild ride. There's there's more than thirteen bats. I would wager there. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Just one swing at a time. We'll make it. It's there. We made it. Oh my gosh. There's a ladder. <laughs> Get me out of this floor! How do I still not have experience? Oh my gosh, 83-2. Saved. Say I can barely even see the ladder in the screenshot. <laughs> That's so funny. Get me out of here. Oh, oh, the, oh no. Just give me the freebie, please. Have I not suffered enough on that last floor? Am I sure I don't have XP? We'll double check. Mining experience, 0 out of 100, correct. And it definitely didn't kill any of those bats. <laughs> the XP indicator came up. It comes up whenever I switch tools. So, it like showed like the experience associated with that tool. That might be what you saw there. Or was there a combat experience drop that I didn't see somehow? I don't know. Did I kill one of the bats with my scythe? <laughs> Something tells me no, but maybe. I regret to inform you there is there are no freebies. No freebies to be had on this floor. That was baddie. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright. No freebies. And no knight's moves either. You hate to see it. I was too busy running for my life. You're not wrong. Alright. I don't know what's going to be worse, these slimes or the bats. The, sli the slimes are they're pretty scary. They can they can slime me up. And they do a lot of a lot of D. Get me stop. Okay. Wait a minute. Fill my cup, put some salmon berries in it. Gotta go for clusters now. I think we might have to abandon cluster tech in favor of, like, survival tech. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford to go out of my way for clusters. When a rock is right here that contains a staircase. Ah! <laughs> the rock crab, dude, he got me. He got me good. Please? No. No, not the, not the bats! Ah! The geode! Magma geode as recompense, maybe? There's a there's a chance. This is the this is the most grueling series of five floors I've ever seen, and guess what? We have seven more sets of five after this. Including a spiral floor on floor ninety-nine. Is anyone is everyone looking forward to the spiral floor on floor ninety-nine, by the way? I know I certainly am. Get me out of here! <laughs> Floor 85 achieved. I never I never want to do that again, but I have to do it seven more times. It's okay. It's just, you know, I was a little bit overwhelmed, but we just trust in our we trust in our strats. We trust in our strats, put good faith in them, and they'll see us through. And also get better food. Because salmon berries, they've carried us a long way. Salmon berries, I have nothing but respect for them. 
I don't think they can last that much longer here. 11 health is not doing great. But floor 85, no mining experience, no combat experience. How many resets was that? That was like uh, two or three resets. It was in the first echelon. That, one, that one's for the 43% of believers right there. It was more than one. I know it was, I know it was at least two, and it might have been three. Now go buy salads, please. It is past noon, so I mean, yeah, I should buy, should buy salads for sure. Oh my gosh, Caroline. You don't know what, what I've just been through. Imagine after that harrowing experience with all the bats. Just Beatrix walking through town. Imagine what kind of look she's getting from uh <laughs> from the villagers. She's walking through, bruised and beaten down. Covered in like little bites from all the bats. Salmonberry juice dripping down her down her cheek. A thousand yard stare in her eyes. Do I want this? I'll take I'll take them. Yeah, I'll take that maple seed over, over this gold ore. Why not? It sells for more, at least for me. How long am I going for today? I'm not sure, honestly. I might be. I we could probably try and squeeze in one more set of five floors if we get a good luck day. Try and make it to floor ninety here. I think that'd be a good stopping point. Little pancakes. I'll take that over the iron ore. And let's quickly drop in. Uh, what am I getting rid of here? Probably the fiber. And we start stocking up. How many salads can we buy? We can buy at least 10 salads. 50 health each. That's like half my HP, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go like... It's 10 salads. Good. I want to save some money. I mean, I'll probably do a little bit of geode farming as well in order to get the money I need for the fall fruit trees. Which reminds me, I actually should check the summer fruit trees. They're probably going to bear fruit pretty soon. Um, but we'll buy 10 salads. 10 salads seems reasonable right now to me. No 24-hour streams today? I, You know, <laughs> something tells me no. There will probably eventually come a time where I do like a 24-hour stream for some reason or another, but today is not going to be that day. Gold Fighter, you can indeed sell items to shops without accounting for shipping, but that is against our uh, rules. Exclamation point FAQ for the rules and guidelines of this particular challenge. Makes it too easy to get money. This Magma Geode's gonna go a long way, though, I'll tell you that for free. Magma Geode, two Joja Cola, Maple Seed. Can't sell either of those. Sell the pancakes. Beautiful. Am I eating the fruit? I guess I could eat the fruit tree fruit. Let me have a quick look at the at the fruit trees, though. We what we need these fruit trees for is for the uh, artisan bundle eventually. This one's not quite ready. Obviously, that one's not ready either. Yeah, the artisan bundle is one of the easier ones we can complete, and that's what we want the fruit trees for. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm just, I'm still kind of riding the high of that bat swarm. <laughs> I'm just taking a moment to breathe and rehydrate. Have I started stockpiling gifts for the dwarf for when I finally get to him? I have not. Once we get the Crystallarium, it should be easy enough to get gifts for the dwarf, I think. I think that's pretty, pretty easy. I'm not super worried about that. The challenge of this goal is in the journey, less so in the destination of actually having to befriend the dwarf. That's going to go so fast compared to everything else. Alright, go to sleep for the night. Yes, please. 
Look at that, 235, mostly off the back of that magma geode. I'll take it. I don't think the fruit trees will be ready until like the 27th or something. We did plant them pretty late. That much is for certain. All right, definitely not. I mean, part of me kind of wants to still try for floor 90, but, uh, you know, we've learned our lesson on that front. Let's not worry about that. Happy Debris Day, though. Happy Debris Day. What did we do to deserve two Debris Days in a single stream? Not that it's our first time, I guess. Excess Jades could be gift for, gifts for the Dwarf. Very true. The Jade farming is, is going to be dual purpose in that way, I think. Next task, go to Ginger Island. It could be. Could be to get a golden clock as well. I'd rather try to go to Ginger Island and get a golden clock, I'll tell you that for sure. Am I going to give him something today? I literally can't even access him today. I still haven't found a single bomb. Maybe I could, uh, if I get... If I get a supply crate today when I'm doing my debris farming, then we'll, uh, we could, we could get a bomb then, and then we can go see the dwarf for the first time. Am I doing community center? I'm trying to do as much of the community center as I can. I think there is a sequence of goals that would make it, like, I think if I have to get to Ginger Island before I get certain goals, then I would have to go Joja instead of community center. I don't think the community center is possible within my rules. Mostly because of, like, uh, fish tank stuff. There are certain fish I just can't get. until Unless I'm able to catch them myself, I don't think. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes when we, when we get to that point. You can give the dwarf gifts. You can, you can, absolutely. You just won't gain any friendship points for it unless you can uh, understand them. What do we got on the board today? Clint wants 20 copper ores, 200 gold on delivery. Don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, I'm afraid to say. He'll just say homie, pretty much. Yeah, you have to get you have to get a pretty good uh, set of goals in order to, for the community center to be fully possible within these rules. If I allowed the traveling cart for like a couple of the community center items, I think it could be possible. But we already we already know how that's going. Even though the main reason I banned the traveling cart is because I didn't want it to make the shipping goals too easy. I think just banning it outright rather than being like, well, I can't sell items from the traveling cart, but I can use them for the com community center. It just feels too arbitrary to me. Just put, a, just put a total ban on it. What am I going to give the dwarf to get friendship up? I can just give him, like, some gems and stuff. Like, I, if I just find, like, one gem from a crater barrel, and I can duplicate that in my crystallarium eventually, which I'll have from the uh, 10,000, no, the 25,000 gold bundle, then that's, like, infinite gifts. So, I'm not concerned about that. Like I said, that's, that is not the main challenge with this one. Look at that little hidden seaweed right there. That seaweed's trying, it's cosplaying as grass. Wait, Chad, does seaweed grass? Like, botanically, are sea is seaweed a form of grass that just, like, grows underwater? I actually don't know. Super meal. Honestly, super meal could be could be good for, for mines delves. I think we I think we saved that food, honestly. I think we saved the super meals for, for mines attempts. Extra energy, so we don't have to eat as often. Or we don't have to restock our energy as often. Speed. It restores like a lot of health. I think that's I think that's a good get. Yeah, we'll probably end up getting bombs by trading at the desert trader. We could also get them from supply crates, but the more reliable way will be to trade quartz at the desert trader. Charlie might know she's a biologist. True. Very, very true. No, but bamboo is grass. Seaweed is sea grass. You can pick up the cockle on your farm without XP. Goat. 
I don't believe you. But I will... I'll try on a day where I haven't already committed some time to it. A lot of actions on the farm do not give experience. I'm pretty sure that foraging does. Like like picking up the cockle or picking up the seaweed or whatever. I'm 99% I'm sure that that gives foraging experience, but... I would be I would be happy to be proven wrong. I'd be over the freaking moon. I should ask Charlie about the seaweed thing. So the, it's the great thing about having a a biologist friend. You can just like inundate them with <laughs> with your random biological questions like you're a biologist, you should know this stuff. And she'll be like, I was more into, like, animal biology. I'm like, it's seaweed grass! It's seaweed grass! <laughs> if I yell it louder, maybe you'll know. Tell me right now. Is seaweed grass? If seaweed is grass, do manatees, which are the cows of the sea, eat seaweed? Because cows eat grass. Ergo... Sea cows eat seagrass? Hmm? Charlie's live right now? Yeah, I'm not gonna ask her while she's, like, live on stream. She's doing, like, that thing with Therm and, and Shawnee, I'm pretty sure. I'm not just gonna pop into her stream and be like, Hold up, is seaweed grass? <laughs> nah, nah. You still get XP from farm, farm forage, beach forge. Use the strat for that strat for a thing. That's what I thought. Yeah. These wood are a little bit cursed. I can get that one. The other one is a little bit too boxed off, I think, for me to get without some extra, extra strategies here. I'm willing to invoke it. I'm willing to try. Chad, are you ready? Are you ready? First live chair clip of all time to get this debris. He's done it. All right, now give me the chair. Get me out of here. That was cursed. Let's never do that again, as long as we don't have to. You think actual seagrass is a thing that manatees eat? Wait, seagrass is its own thing and seaweed? Is like a seaweed a, a sea dandelion then? Because like dandelions are weeds? There's probably a better analogous weed, I would say. A... Grass that grows in lakes. Is that just called seagrass or is that called lake grass? I can't get that one with the chair traps, unfortunately. That's like a that's the that's where you click and then all these the rest of them are mines and minesweeper like we were talking about before. Nettles. I know you can make nettle tea. I learned that from RuneScape. I don't really know that much else about nettles though. I think that's a good debris day. It's honestly getting kind of hard to tell and also kind of hard to navigate between all these rocks, but comes with the territory. It feels like a very sparse debris day though. Like I feel like I'm missing a chunk of it somewhere. But maybe I've just maybe it's just been a, a light week for debris, I don't know. Oh, there's some. There's one last little piece right there. You can also make rope from nettles. But why would you? Isn't aren't nettles like spiky? That would hurt your hands like crazy, wouldn't it? Love dummy days. Dubry. <laughs> Is there a reason you can't clear the stones? Each one of them gives a single point of mining XP. They don't in the mines. That's why we can mine them freely in the mines. But on the farm, they do give mining experience, unfortunately. Branch on the left side of the house. I think I got that one. That might be, that might be stream delay. Left side of the house. Or are you talking, like, stage left? I think we're good. I missed the tree sprout. 
<laughs> That'll make me go look through the entire farm for a single tree sprout? I'll do it. There's a stump there. I can't get that. That's from a... Uh, that's from a, a tree that got knocked down by lightning. I will say debris day is it's a great way to decompress, especially after a, a long and arduous mine session. It's not quite as rote and monotonous as like hardwood farming. And it's like therapeutic in its own ways. You get the birds chirping along in the background. I'm here for it. I think I got everything. Below the house. I will go look below the house. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow this house down. Below the house, you say. I see a lot of stones here. Oh, tree? There's a that's eagle eyes, eagle-eyed chatter. That's that's huge. And and one right there as well. We did miss this little section right here by the looks of it. I think. That's going to be it, though. That's got to be it. And if it's not, then we'll catch it next time on Debris Day. Yo, welcome in, Benny. I am still streaming, indeed. Feeling a bit of a long one today. Speaking of. Let's see if we can get a nice good luck day and try to get to floor 90. We got the food on deck now, so we can, uh, we can try and make that happen. What do you got for me, Wellwick? Gold pyramid? I'm taking it. I'm taking it and I'm running with it. Gold. The gold pyramids have been treating me pretty well. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had a couple star drop luck days thrown in here and there during this, these uh, mines grinds. And honestly, I don't really feel the difference. Maybe... I can't remember. On the... On the Zero reset run. That was like floor 50 to 55. Oh, you're my sword. You're so right, but it's too late to go back now. <laughs> On the zero reset run, was that a star drop luck day or was that gold pyramid? I honestly don't remember. Is there a video explaining this uh, challenge? Busetsu, there is no video, but explanation with FAQ should give you a brief rundown. It does require some reading, but hopefully that's okay. Yeah, no, no video to explain, I'm afraid. All right. We got no video, but we do have an FAQ. And we have a poll. How many resets for floor 90? 90? How did I get here? <laughs> All right, is it going to be zero? Is it going to be 1 to 3, 4 to 6, or 7 plus? What the... I, what did I just do? 7 plus. Okay, ask your community. So what did I do? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. I, I, like, tabbed into my browser, and I hit, like, control zoom somehow, I think. And it, like zoomed in like a tiny the tiniest little bit and it threw me off. Alright. Here we go. We now have salads on our side and a little bit of super meals. We'll we'll eat the super meal first once we get to once we get down in HP. And we'll go from there. Alright, floor 85. No freebies allowed on this floor, we know that, so let's just let's just go. That's that Shadow Brute. He, did, you, did you see how fast he walked towards me? That was scary, dude. Yeah, the first thing we were doing is befriending the dwarf. That is our current goal. And an assortment of randomized goals that will eventually, inevitably lead us to perfection. Got off work in time to vote in the poll. Number one, welcome on in, Pumpkin 
uh, pumpkin magpie. Number two, what did you vote? You don't have to tell me, but I hope it wasn't zero. <laughs> Have you ever messed with the Luigi board? Oh, that's a, that's an all-time classic video. The Luigi board pronunciation video. Oh my gosh. One to three, a little bit more realism than optimism. I can I can respect that. I fully and wholeheartedly respect your decisions. I respect your reality and won't substitute my own. Because that would be rude. Alright, this is 85-1. Do we have a freebie on 85... 80, I was going to say 85-2 on 86. Um, We do have a freebie, which is not ideal. Yo, this is a mushroom floor. Wait, Chad, is that good? Will mushroom floors persist between resets? Like, will, this, will 86 always be a mushroom floor? And if so, are we, like, guaranteed a freebie on a mushroom floor? I feel like because there's so many mushrooms, there are fewer rocks, so maybe there's a higher chance, but I don't really know the mechanics of mushroom floors as well as I probably ought to. Mushroom floors should be determined daily, so it should still be here? Okay. All right, we'll find out, I mean, because we're going to have to reset anyway, we already got the experience, so... Doesn't matter because there will be no resets. Who's gonna Who's gonna tell you? Unfortunately, we already mined a single gold ore, so we're, we're guaranteed at least one reset on the back of this five experience. But I wish it weren't so. Gotta respect the optimism, though. You thought it got nerfed, and now they do not persist. Couldn't tell you, honestly. I think we use salmon berries as energy restorers still. Like, if we're not being harassed by enemies, we can use the salmon berries and just save the better food for HP. Wanted you to grab the purple mushrooms for health, but I forgot about the foraging experience. Imagine if you could forge mushrooms in, in the mines with that foraging experience. Oh, that would be so nice. gaslighting ourselves into believing that you won't reset. Maybe. Maybe if he just gets down to floor 90 with, with 5 experience, he'll be okay with that. Maybe maybe he won't reset at the end of the day. How do you feel about this now, when I start mining these rocks that give me even more experience? Because, you know, I already know that I'm going to reset. Ooh. But I will reset with some information in my back pocket. 87-1, please. Welcome back, random dude. Welcome back. No freebies. You know what that meanies. We mine. We mine till dawn. And if we still don't find a staircase, we mine some more. All right, 88-1. That's nice and close to the ladder. If we can if we can pull that off, that would be huge in the real run. Another mushroom floor? There's no shot. There's actually just like no shot that that's that's consistent. Do I have a freebie here? No freebies. Freebies aren't aren't guaranteed on mushroom floors. That's a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> There's so many mushrooms, dude. What is this luck? It's a 3.5% chance. Is it gold pyramid luck? And oh my gosh! Speaking of luck. Alright. 89-1. Perfect. And we reset. Once more into the breach. Now we get to see if the mushroom floors are going to be consistent between resets. 
I think I think you might have been right that uh, mushroom floors got nerfed so that like they wouldn't be consistent because then you could just like go down to those floors, get the mushrooms and reset it, like not reset the day but reset the floors and go back down. But maybe between like full day resets, it's it's the same. I don't I don't something tells me no, but we'll see. Clearly getting mining XP now because we misread our goal and it's been a mining level up all along. <laughs> Could you imagine? We just collectively had a mass hallucination. I go back to the spreadsheet and turns out the goal was gaining a mining level. I would cry. I would cry real tears for sure. All right. Bring into the lab real quick here. Floor 85-ism. Right down there. No knight's move tech. No fault no false knighthoods either, so we just gotta we just gotta mine. Should should be my slogan at this point for this challenge. We just gotta mine. <laughs> it's all we've been doing. It's all we will do. Huh, I, I look away at chat and I look back and see a single gold ore in my belt. How could you do this to me? Sorry, right, we're going to get there. It's only two resets deep. I will say both of the resets occurring because of experience gained on 485. That's what hurts the most. You hate to see that, but it is, uh... It's just the way it goes sometimes. There's a part of me, anytime I get experience on, like, the very first floor in a set of five, I'm like, maybe I should just, like, reset and try again, but... Especially this early on when we have so few maps of any of the floors. You gotta persevere. A little a little bit of short-term grief for long-term payoff. That's what we're all about. Is this a mushroom floor? I, I only see one mushroom. Shoot, this is a mushroom floor. And there's a freebie. I'm gonna save the freebie. Heck, we still, we still never really tested this. Whether freebies actually work. So 86-1F. Whether they're consistent, like if I could get a rock on where this freebie is, maybe I could mine it and get another staircase. Don't know if that actually works or not, but... We'll test it out. Take it for a test spin. The lights are green. So I thought it's just like insane luck that we got the same... We got mushroom floor on the same floor twice in a row or it's consistent between daily resets how have we never tested freebie consistency by floor 85 look we're stardew pioneers here i never said i was the smartest pioneer that there is but <laughs> better late than never better late than never i forgot to bring my sword again i'm such a such a dingus. Don't let me... Well, I can eat the salads, like, for free now, because I know I'm going to get them back anyway. Save a little bit of time. No, we're starting masochists. You can be both. You can be a, you can be a masochist pioneer. You can even be a pioneer of masochism if you want. Well, probably not. I think masochism is, like, pretty well understood. But we're not going to talk about it. At least not in like the more traditional definition, because that's not PG-13 in the slightest. Have a good one there, Deluxe Trash. Thanks for hanging out. It does seem like you should have checked freebie consistency before cluster versus single effectiveness. <laughs> What do you mean? You don't think there's any rationale to clusters, but somehow there's rationale to freebie consistency? 
Chad, it's all made up. It's all just code. The Omni Geos. I'm gonna miss them. I wish the Omni Geodes sold for, like, more than zero. That'd be nice. Checking freebie consistency doesn't really help since I can't influence it. Yeah, but like if I if the freebies appear on the same patterns as the non-freebies, then that could provide some some extra information here. I don't know how much I believe that they do appear on the same patterns. I feel like they might be two distinct parts of the code, but I'd be I'd be more than happy to be proven wrong on that. Pain ear. <laughs> that's that's great. That's pretty good. Why would normal geos be worth fifty and omni geos worth zero? I think it's for like game balance reasons. I think there was like a way to like farm omni geos maybe, or like get a bunch of omni geos and you could set and like if they were worth like a ton, then you could sell them for profit. But I don't know. I don't claim to be a full geode expert, just, you know, I have a, I have a bachelor's in geodology. Not my master's, though. Plus the chance of ladder, getting a ladder increases the more you don't get a ladder. Very eloquent way of putting it, honestly. Getting a mineral unlocks it in the collection, I believe. It does, yeah. Like, if we go check the collections, all these minerals that we've picked up are just... It doesn't... We don't require donating them to unlock them in there. It's just a matter of picking them up at all. It is correct. Used to be able to buy unlimited geodes from Sandy. Omni geodes from Sandy. It would be easy enough to make them worth less than she had sold them for. Yeah, that... That's that's where my brain initially went, but I was like, that didn't make sense. Because, you, yeah, you could just change the price to be less, so you could still sell Omni Geodes you get naturally, if you wanted to. Ah! <laughs> the music, dude, every time. I do miss when you were able to buy unlimited Omni Geodes from Sandy. Those were good days, man, when I was able to just, you know... <laughs> cheese the Omni Geodes and use them to to great avail in the no level up challenge. Buying like 30 Omni Geodes in a single trip. Oh, nothing quite compares. Eighty-eight dash two, by the way. And another mushroom for. As we should expect. I see not an inkling of a freebie. So anyway, I started mining. What the heck? I'm being invited to play in a Steam game. Don't they know I'm streaming? Don't they know who I am? Oh, they messaged me and said, sorry, wrong person. Okay, all is forgiven. <laughs> all is forgiven. I won't even, I won't even name you. It's all good. Turns out they did know I was streaming. <laughs> haven't, haven't tried it yet, but I've never, never met an iced coffee I didn't like. I don't like coffee, period, but I think I could probably drink iced coffee easier than I could drink regular coffee. Because iced coffee, I mean, it usually has, like, more stuff going on to it than just being, like, cold coffee, right? There's more actually, like, within the iced coffee than, than just coffee and, like, ice cubes. Are they watching? I don't think so. <laughs> it's 
moments like this where I definitely <laughs> need to remember to bring my sword for next time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> that was a little, a little close for comfort on that one. Not that, like, dying is the end of the world. I mean, we'll just end up resetting anyway. It's not like it ends the day. But I'd still rather not. It wasn't me. <laughs> Can confirm it was not wickety. It was not wickety. Yo, welcome on in, Zombo. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. All right. Quick 89-2 moment. And we reset. Third verse, same as the second. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue the same way as the traditional thing, but... And thankfully we didn't have a repeat of that insane bat floor from last time. That was, oh my gosh. Bats part de. <laughs> my sword! I'm going back for the sword. It might be admitting cowardice. It might be admitting that I'm going to need to reset for the day. But I'm willing to, I'm willing to admit that on the off chance that it'll save me some time and grief in the future. I don't have a great sword even for this for the stage of the mines though. Do I get the obsidian edge on floor 90? I can't come soon enough, honestly. Taking the long way this time. More like bats part end. <laughs> the bat saga continues evermore. The thing about the bat saga, we didn't even know we were in a bat saga until the 80th floors. They weren't that bad, and like, you know, especially like early on, like the first 40 floors, didn't mind the bats too much. Occasionally, you know, bats would swarm in and be like, ooh, a little bit of damage here and there. And then in like the 40s to 80s, we were more focused on the dust sprites than we were on the bats, but the bats were probably still a little bit nasty, but not noticeably so. Now the bats, they've entered their super villain arc. Taking cues from Dracula. All right. Come on into the lab, folks. What do we got here? I see a couple of, of bad boys sitting in the corner where they belong. Uh, we do have one there, but I mean, that's obviously not going to be a good staircase for us. That, may, that guy's standing on where the staircase should be. I, don't know, I never feel good when there's like a staircase potential in a, in a rock that has experience tied to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, and reset this floor and try that one again. Run it back. I see a lot of monsters already. That does not make me feel great, but maybe more monsters means fewer rocks, which means better chances of finding the, uh, the things we need. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. What do we got there? No knight's moves, no nothing. No knight's moves, no nothing. All right. We got to get some more. We got to get some better intel on floor 85 here. We got to go deeper. I'm just scared. I'm scared to mine because like every single time so far, I mean, the two times that I've been here, I've, I've lost the reset on floor 85 every single time. All right, fine. You got me. I couldn't juke you forever. Are you happy now? Please leave me alone. <laughs> I just want to find my staircase in peace. I won't even bother you. There's my staircase. Okay, I was like, why can't I go up past this thing? It's because there's a there's a big old ladder right in front of me. All right. 85-3. Next up is the mushroom floor. I feel like freebies 
are more common on mushroom floors, but not guaranteed. All right, 86. What do we got? No freebie, unfortunately. We do have one map, but this is this is the freebie map. Maybe we'll get to test it here. That's that was where our freebie was last time, but there's no nothing even a knight's move away, so we just got a mine on this one. That's okay. There's there's still room for uh for freebie staircase consistency to be tested. Consarnet. <laughs> Alright, I get the point, okay? It's fine. I, I know I have to reset. You don't have to like rub it in like that. That's just mean. Alright, well that's not great. <laughs> At least now I have an actual map that's uh that I know is not a freebie. Like this could be a consistent one. Oh, there's the freebie. We'll take a picture just in case. I'm so used to not taking pictures of these, but we'll do it. This is 87 3 f Perfect. Dude, why does floor eight? Why does eighty-five to ninety feel so much longer than eighty to eighty-five? It's like insanely longer. This is eighty-eight. Three F. Yes, yeah. Three F. F is for freebie because it was a freebie, so we don't know how consistent or reliable it is. But we want the information nevertheless, so we take it. But we demarcate it with a little F asterisk. Get some Fs in chat, please. Fs in chat. F for freebie. Of course, what else would it be for? 88 3. And. A lot of mushrooms, not a lot of freebies. Alright. I'm okay with that. But like pineapple pizza, people are really weird about it. I don't get why people are so heated about pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza is not my favorite pizza, but it's still like good. And there's no way that it's so bad that people need to be as, you know, upset about it as they tend to get. Respect to the freebies every day. Every day of the dang week, we respect the freebies. Can't eat ham, but yeah, like that. I mean, that's that's an understandable reason to not like a uh, pineapple pizza because they do often come with ham on them. Chat, would you eat the green eggs and ham from Green Eggs and Ham? Also, is is this is perhaps just you know misleading? I don't remember how the story goes, so this might actually be answered in the story. Is are the eggs green only, or are the eggs and the ham also? Is the ham like also green in Green Eggs and Ham? Because I would probably eat green eggs. I don't know if I'd eat green ham. They're both green. Absolutely. On only the eggs are green. If only the eggs are green, then that's that's an easy decision. I, I would 100% eat the green eggs and ham then. That's not a problem. They're both, they are both green. The ham is green and the yolk of the eggs are green. So it's it's white eggs with green yolks and green ham. I gotta reconsider now, because how does the ham get green? What makes an egg green? I mean, I know we talked about it at the be very beginning of the stream. Someone said that if you boil an egg too long, the, the yolk can become green, but it's still fine. So maybe that's how you get the green yolk. 
how you get a ham to be green, I think you just wait, <laughs> which is which is the part that scares me. Unless they're just like unnaturally dyed green. A bit of mint jelly for the green on the ham or some chim chimichurri. If that's where the green's coming from, then I might reconsider. I think I would know immediately just looking at the ham whether I would eat the ham. If, if the green ham was presented to me in real life, I would hopefully be able to tell sight on scene. I forgot the sword. <laughs> Oops. Um, I would hopefully be able to tell sight on scene whether it was, you know, green from mold and mildew or whether it was uh, chimichurri. The ham might turn green if it oxidizes. But ham isn't made from oxes. It's made from pigs. So the argument is invalid on those grounds. All right. We got no staircase luck there. No, wait, is that, I mean, that wouldn't matter if it, even if it was false knights. Oxidation, yeah, oxidation from, from an ox. That's what that word means, right? That, is that false knight? That might be false knighthood right there. We've been we've been dry on on the knight's moves lately. Like this entire stream has been very knight poor. And that's even this is like a Hail Mary. This, it's like a false knight, and I'm not even that confident about it, but I'll take what I can get. Alright, yeah. Didn't didn't have that much confidence in that one, but that's okay. We carry on. Welcome back, Bree. I believe we are on three resets right now. I believe this is three resets. This It might be four. I might have miscounted. Either way, it's not going to the next reset. Mark my words. We're going to get a staircase right now. <laughs> I, I mean, I was in the middle of saying the sentence. I didn't get to the word staircase until the rock broke, but you, you got to admit the spirit was there. 85-4. All right. Show me that freebie. If I say it like a game show host. Maybe it'll work. It can confirm it did not work. Um, but 86. Let's see. Get it set up here. It's actually reset 57 already. <laughs> Wait, how long have I been here? All right. Um... That's our freebie. That's not a uh, no knight's moves or anything anyway. And then we got this boy here. Just n not an inkling of a rock nearby. How many rocks are even on this floor? There's there's 14 rocks on this floor. That's got to be a, a world record for least rocks on a floor that can produce rocks. 14 rocks on a floor this big is kind of wild. What are the odds that any of them contain ore, though? So, like, we shouldn't even, we don't even need to be worried. One of them is guaranteed to contain a staircase. None of them are guaranteed to contain ore. Ergo, staircase coming in hot. This song is so fun. Are you talking about this one or the one previous? It did just change, I believe. There are fewer rocks on a mushroom floor. I guess because the... The rocks are replaced by mushrooms. Is that how mushroom floors generate? Like, it generates the floor normally, and then it's like we're going to replace some of these rocks with some mushrooms? Because it kind of feels that way after this one. 86-3. Alright, 87 is a big floor. I'm not a huge fan of the 87 layout, so we just hopefully got, we got to hold our breath and get through this one together. Okay, grab the grab the quartz, get it out of the way. 87. So we got we got two maps and a freebie map. 
have a look here. Psy and statistics. <laughs> Didn't I have a floor with like five-ish rocks in the last stream? Yeah, but I forgot about that one. All right. Um, we got. Ooh, we got knight's move. Unless th that's not a that's not a crab, is it? I don't think that's a crab. All right. South east of the stone plateau. Southwest of the stone plateau by two rocks. Okay, we actually have a knight's move there, potentially. What about over here? Nothing of consequence there. And this was our freebie. There is a knight's move there, but it's not, obviously not. Wait, there, there's a knight's move right there, two away. Literally, like, right beside us. The, the rock immediately to our right here. So we'll test that. Well, that's for freebie consistency. This is our first check for freebie consistency. And then we go southwest of the stone plateau. Everyone got it? Everyone everyone knows the plan? Let's go execute it. Alright, start me here. All this time? You're telling me all this time the freebies are consistent with the other patterns? <laughs> and nobody told me? Nobody told me to double check? Whether the freebies were consistent? Chat, why didn't you tell me? I'm looking for my good luck hardwood, by the way, but I'm not willing to go up there to find it. Well, now we know. <laughs> At least we know. That's good information to have. We still have a decent amount of the mines left to go, so now we know at least freebies do provide some kind of information. That is that is helpful. All right, floor 88. I think this is a new PV without experience, right? It's all good, Bree. I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm just messing. That one's on me for not checking sooner. All right. Ooh, that's a good look. Right next to the fiber there. And we got a knight's move. A knight's move away from the fire quartz, if, we, if that one fails. We got we got a lot of potential here actually. We got two knights moves and one that's just dead on. Let's start with that and see how it goes. Okay, right next to the fiber, so right here. Perfect. Don't need to check any further than that. I will go grab that fire quartz though. Cuz that's, you know, a decent chunk of change to just leave lying on the floor, especially when this is the run. We don't we're not going to have to worry about any future resets. Mm. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we are good. We made it back to the mushroom floor. Floor 89. Freebies are random. They do not. Sephira, that is an awful coincidence that we encountered if that if that if they are indeed random, but I'm putting some stake in, in the freebie consistency now. It was a night's nice move away from where the last freebie was, so I feel like that that holds some water. All right. I see no freebie, so we start we start mapping. We go to our maps. A gold ore? You gotta be kidding me with this gold ore. That's that's just that's such that's so mean. <laughs> Is there a knight's move? Do do do. Knight's move to the mushroom? No, thank you. It's okay. There's a knight's move right there. Okay, so that's that's is that our only one? Is that our? Or we have one more map there. We have one, we got one more map. Oh, that's that one's all, that one's so spooky. Look at all the red mushrooms around it. No luck. So what? It was this one south of the fiber, right? Wait, there's a freebie right there. <laughs> it's right dead center of the screen. Did anyone catch that? I, th I don't see anyone in chat screaming at me about this freebie right here. <laughs> Yo, that's a, that's, a, that's a freebie, right? That's not just a weird rock. Wait, so we're good. We just go. <laughs> I don't know. How did I not see that? I saw Benny. Why did you? Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> you were gonna go let let me mine that rock in in blissful ignorance. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Well, there's floor 90. <laughs> there's floor freaking 90. You'll love to see it. Obsidian Edge. Oh my gosh. An actual usable sword for this point in the mines. No mining experience. No combat experience. Beautiful. B E A. Beautiful. <laughs> Holy moly. Well, that's one way to get to floor 90. Everyone say thanks to Gertrude, by the way. We haven't given Gertrude the appreciation. Get some Argon love for, for Gertrude, our emotional support bunny. And you know what? Let's give Beatrix a little bit of, a little bit of rest and relaxation here. I think she's earned it. How many floors today? We went from floor 70 to floor 90. 20 floors in a single stream in, in five hours. <laughs> you know what? We've done worse in the past. We've done worse. T.Y. Gertrude. T.Y. T.Y. Taylor and T.Y. Gertrude. Maybe that's why I was having such rough luck before. I wasn't talking enough about Taylor Swift anymore. Alright, this is this is a great song in its own right, don't get me wrong, but we all know how this goes. Ah. That's the song we want to hear. It has been a very long and arduous five hours, chat. We've done, we've done, made a lot of progress. We've made a lot of progress. On the back of Beatrix's hard work, mining through stone after stone, enduring swarm after swarm of bats. And she did it all with a smile on her face, because of you, because of you and your support. Whether you were here, just enjoying the stream in your own right, lurking, doing whatever else, whether you just popped in for a little bit to say hello, whether you've been here the entire time, whether you're chatting right now or not, we're glad to have you here. We're glad to have you here, and we're glad that you're doing well. And just as a personal note, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for enduring this journey with me. I know, you know, it's, it's a long one, and we're just getting started. We're still on the very first steps of this journey together. But it's not one that I could make without all of you. And I wish you nothing but the best. If you're going through a tough time in your life right now, in whatever capacity, I'm happy to have you here. And just remember that you mean, you mean the world to me. Yes, you. You listening right now, you mean the world to me. You, make, you fill my life with, with a meaning that I find it difficult to describe. If you ever feel down in the dumps, just remember that. There you go. Oh, I forgot to close the poll. Uh, oops. There we go. And I meant every word, chat. I meant every word. Yeah, get, get some copper axes. Some copper axes of wellness in chat. I do appreciate the Argon love as well. We haven't had a little copper axe of, of wellness checks in a, in a hot minute. I hope you're doing well, chat. Remember to check in with yourself every now and again. Remember after, you know, after... This, despite how, you know, it may feel sometimes... In the grueling depths of the mines, remember to check back in with yourself after getting through 20 floors, well, 90 total floors now, without any mining or combat experience. Just check in with yourself and make sure, hey, brain, are you doing okay? And you know what my brain's saying to me, chat? My brain's saying, let's go another 90, baby! Oh, man, I love, I love the excitement. Every bit, every single rock and every single bat and every single salmon berry, every part of it, it's worth the endurance test for... For the relief and the excitement at the at every multiple of five floors. There's there's something magical about it. I can't wait 
for floor 120. I don't know when it's going to come. I don't know how many more streams it's going to be until we get there necessarily, but uh, it's coming. It's on the horizon. Floor 180. Let's go! Chat, what do you think the odds are of getting to... Of without without using staircases, like the, the crafted staircases? What are the odds of getting to floor... You didn't see that. You're too far away, and you're old, so your eyes are bad. Um, of getting to floor 100 in Skull Cavern? No staircases, no experience to be had. How many resets was that? I believe that was three resets. It was three or four. We're going to call it three for the believers, but it might have been four. The zero percent chance. One out of 150. I'll take those odds. Probably about the same as getting seven living hats in one swing. Roughly zero percent. Chat, don't tempt me, though. <laughs> Oh, don't tempt me. What if, what if we did it though? What if we 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 got we're gonna try it at least once. You know that, right? You know that. Check the photos. See, the thing about Skull Cavern is the photos, like every floor is different. The floor is different every time, unless yo know, chat, Galaxy Brain mode. What if we get so many maps of Skull Cavern? We just go in time and again and again and again, that. When the floor layouts do match up on subsequent runs, we can like match them against the pics pictures we have of those specific layouts for that floor number. And then, oh, are you seeing where I'm going with this? Chat, there might be a way. There might be a way. It's probably not gonna happen in this challenge, but maybe, maybe in the future <laughs> there's something there. Anyway, sell my fire quartz, my quartz, my pine cone, save the rest of it. We didn't even eat any of our good food today. That's good. I'm gonna keep the sword on me just so I don't forget it in future runs. Skull Caverns doesn't work like that, though. How do we know? Have we tested it? I haven't. Ergo. But that's for another day. For now, I'll take my floor 90. I just want to double check. No mining experience, no combat experience. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. I didn't ship anything to, to mess it up. Let's double check the shipping collection real quick just to make sure, because I'm, I'm paranoid that way. Make it an official task. Get to, get to floor 100 without mining or combat experience. Alright, no, nothing shipped, right? Nothing ventured, nothing shipped? Perfect. Alright. On that note, I do think I am going to go ahead and end the stream there. Quick luck check. We won't be starting immediately with, with Mines Grinds next time, but they are in our future. That was a good one. That was a good one. And honestly, the crowning jewel on top of it all, this little guy right here. Little copper bar from the trash. That's a really good feeling. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow's stream won't be quite as long because I do have to work later in the day. So it'll probably be like a three to four hour one. But I hope to see you then. And hey, you know what? If you enjoyed this stream, I haven't said it in a while. So forgive the indulgence. If you enjoyed the stream, please leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And subscribe if you'd like to be notified next time I go live, which will be tomorrow. Same time, same place. I look forward to seeing you. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.